Will today be the day that I die? Pulling out of this son of a bitch on the road here. I hope to hell I got nobody that's gonna whack me. I to play whack pop. Turn that off. Uh, stay. Turn off. Uh, that should stabilize our connection there. Hi, Shimei. How are you? Happy Saturday. I had the Wi Fi on. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. All right, Sarah Kate, the princess of Eureka Springs, in the great state of Arkansas, has arrived. Callie Mo, how you doing? I shall be back. Hello, Maud. Lady in Black, how's everybody doing today? It's going to be a nice, quiet Saturday night. Lady in Black, hello, man. Do love Black. Hello, Lurker. How are you? I had a busy day working to try to um, get a little money in the bank before I'm off for a bit uh, with Diane coming in. I hope everybody's doing good. Uh, hello, Mandy. How are you? We got Linda P. Good evening, Linda P. How are you tonight, Cass? Good to see you. Eddie, what's going on? I don't think bathrooms in the hood stations. There is a bathroom in there, but as most... Hey, Gypsy. Hey, Joseph. As most of the places here, they have a sign on the door, restroom out of order. Okay, just like a grocery outlet. It's just like, why don't you just... You know, they got that for the employees. But I've seen... 
they do let homeless people go in there and use the bathroom and stuff. So they're, they're kind of nice. Hey, Ponjay. Uh, you know, when you got to go, you got to go. It's either crap on the side of the building and then the guy's got to clean it up or clean up a crappy restroom, one or the other. Looking forward to tomorrow. Yes, Diane. Tomorrow, I guess tomorrow's the day, isn't it? As we wind down the month of June, uh, month, May, I mean, and June will be busting out all over. Hey, Moose Knuckle, isn't that strange? I remember when I graduated from PS233 in the great city of Baltimore. I remember uh, my music teacher, this really nerdy guy, but he was a nice guy, and, he's, and I remember the song. I didn't go to graduation. I don't know what that was. June is busting out all over, all over the rivers and the plains. As the young Virginia creepers keep grabbing the bejeepers, you know, graduating from junior high school. My allergies are 80% better. We had one day where we had 100 degrees, and the day before it was like 95, and that just, that kind of heat, sun just burns up the uh, pollen. It just, it just makes it sterile. It's no good. So that was really nice. What's up, Nicole? How you doing? Hey Noreen, how are you? Good to see you. We got Joey D in here tonight, so I'm glad to see everybody this evening. I really got nothing on tap tonight. Uh, I I uh, found another box of the uh, patties. I was cleaning out the refrigerator, so I'm gonna have the hack job chili. Anybody got a problem with that? Okay, it's the way it goes. Well, yeah, my allergies are much better. Sticking around 7-Eleven, at least for a little while. At least for a little while. I'm in no rush to get in. Congratulations. Yeah, for the... Today was the, uh, yeah, the 28th. That's it. One year. 10 a.m. this morning. Like 10, 10 a.m. I remember, I remember the day like it was yesterday. I said, you know what? I'm tired of smoking. I'm tired. It blows my mind that you live in Cali and you're in a hoodie most days. Because I'll tell you what blows my mind. It blew my mind when I first moved here, Sarah. This part of California and a lot of coastal California, which is, this is considered coastal California, uh, we're under a, a maritime marine influence. And at nighttime, afternoon, you have this dynamic where in the Central Valley, the long Central Valley of California, one of the longest valley, probably the longest valley in America, uh, 450 miles or whatever. It's hot as hell out there. And during the daytime, that ground break bakes out there, all the agriculture and all the shit. By late afternoon, it starts to create a convection where the heat's rising off the surface and that draws the cool air in from the ocean. And it pulls it over top like a blanket over over us. So it can be literally 100 degrees at 4.30. And it can be 58 degrees by 9 p.m. So you never need air conditioning here. Uh, I think I can count on two hands the five years that Missy Jen was here. The number of days that the air conditioner was run in those five years. Uh, it's... You know, you can always count it. If you don't take a jacket with you or something, you're going to freeze your ass off. Uh, okay, I haven't seen any messages, Diane. I've been kind of busy. 15 and yeah. I was quit for a long time. Thank you, Amanda. I was quit. Thank you, trainer. Uh, do I ever crave one? Yeah. They said wait a few years and then no, it doesn't matter. If you start smoking real late in life, it it's, it's doesn't matter. It doesn't have any impact. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I really don't have any errors, so. Uh, so, how's everybody doing? How you doing today, buddy? You doing okay? Uh, no. no, not doing good today, huh? Did you have uh, anything to eat today? Did you go up to Mission and get something to eat? No, Did you get some lunch or no. something? Why not? I, 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 I haven't gotten over there yet. You're too gone. skinny. You got to start eating. I, 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 don't, I, don't, I don't go over there. There's, 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 there's too violence there. Yeah, I know the violence thing. I fight too much. Yeah. 
Yeah. Well. <coughs> Yep. Take care. Stay out of Don't don't get sick, man. Okay. Take it easy. Damn. Poor dude's wearing away the skin and bones, man. Jeez, this is just, it's like bad news, man. I'm trying to give the guy a little bit. He's got to go get something to eat. The cough didn't sound good, but everybody I know is coming down with COVID. Not even keeping statistics anymore on it. Uh, uh, it's it's just getting in place for the August surge. I feel like it's coming. Hey, how you doing, Tammy? Uh, I didn't do anything. COVID in the face. Well, yeah, what it is, what it is. You take your chance. I mean, how did? How did Brother Damien work with all the lepers all those years in uh, Molokai? He finally got it, right? Right. Well, we're on a big upsurge, yeah. We have a big upsurge. But it's like nobody really cares anymore. It would have to get pretty frantic for... Uh, people have done everything they've been requested to do. It is what it is. So, uh, I did get through a little more. I'm down to just having to clean. The, I'm going to wait till the bathroom clean that tomorrow. No one, and yet yeah, nobody around here cares anymore. I mean, if you want to wear a mask, wear a mask. Do I carry a mask around? Yeah. Do I wear it in stores? No. But plenty of people do. Plenty of people are still wearing masks around here, and that's their, that's their prerogative to do so. I've never questioned that. What's for dinner? I don't know, hack job chili, I guess, because I think we're having spaghetti tomorrow night. I did start some bread for an Italian loaf for tomorrow, so that should be good. A nice, fresh, uh, uh, nice, fresh, hot, big Italian loaf for dinner tomorrow night. Uh, that'll be good. I'm pretty much all packed. Good. Good. So I'm going to have homemade bread. I guess we'll have the uh, linguine with the rails on it tomorrow night. We'll have some bread with that. Uh, yeah, I love your bread recipe. You haven't made it in a long time. I mean, I did the experimental loaf in the um, barbecue grill, but generally I haven't been baking at all. I'm medically challenged and wear a mask, but uh, yeah, let's do what you need to do. I'm gonna bake tomorrow morning. Um, Tammy, can't arise from the south. Did I miss any uh, surplus uh, talk? Uh, no, it's just that people are finally calling a spade a spade down in Texas uh, when it comes to the um, Uvalde, Texas, and the uh, massacre that occurred down there. Uh, one person in the press called it, uh, uh, you know, it's cowardice. I can't put a I can't put a I can't put a different spin on it. I hate to say that. It's the first time in my life in the police department that I've seen just rank cowardice, and I cannot wrap my head around it. It's very disturbing to me. Uh, yeah, the homemade bread. So it's 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 been disturbing. Good bread. I know. Well, it's going to be good, Diane, because after you leave, then. You know, my doctor wants me to be down another 10 pounds before uh, the 22nd of June. So, so I, I, I can't put a different point in. So all I'm going to have is salads and uh, some oatmeal and uh, uh, actually just bacon in the morning, bacon and eggs, and then uh, salad at night. And cowardice against those cowboy hats and all dress out there doing competition. Well, I'm not, hey Lucy, how you doing? I'm not going to criticize, hi Jen, I'm not going to criticize what people wear. There is a, a pride to being a Texan, I get it. There's a pride to being an Oklahoman, there's a pride to being an Arkansian, I mean, I get it. There's a pride. Well, you know, I'm up five pounds. Uh, and you know I hate to say that somebody said that was a charge at a light brigade moment and we've talked about the charge at a light brigade before 
Nothing good ever came out of the Crimean War of 1856. Uh, that was the last major war in the world before the Civil War in the United States. Who made it in? Did he have 70 some minutes? They sat, they waited on that. Anyway, <clears throat> the commanding officer of the legendary uh, Light Brigade, which was a mounted uh, brigade of British. Uh, British Scotch soldiers, mixed Welsh, British English, and uh, Scottish were told to take their uh, battalions down this valley, right? Hundreds of yards through this valley, open field. And they knew that the Russians had artillery and shit on both sides of this valley and they knew that this they were going to die and they went down and the charge of the light brigade onward onward rode the 600 through the valley of death they knew that they were going to be decimated i mean that just shows you the rank courage uh that they had and what was left of the brigade came struggling up at the end and uh you know the Battalion commander is you you just lost me my whole you just lost the whole light brigade on that charge But my point was only the British can write folklore and celebrate disasters, but um, You know the charge of the light brigade was a very serious uh, point in history 38 people were shot and involved 19 and dying and nothing and they started the 17 people wounded. Yeah, it's terrible Um this one, this one's not going to go down easy, in my opinion. Uh, show doctor yet. <laughs> he wants me to take a little more off my upper belly area there, which is fine. Because once you're sewed in and tucked down there, then you can start eating again and you can fill out again. So it's a temporary thing. This one's not going to go down easy. This one's not going to go down easy because there's a uh, rare charge of cowardice and other things that are now coming up. And uh, the, uh, the, the I can't even imagine what the lawsuits are going to be like. They're still very undeveloped. Oh, thank you, Tammy. So do you, sweetie. Uh, uh, cops' jobs not to come and see their jobs and we come home. It's, yeah, that's right, Lucia. And I think we reached a tipping point over the years where cops know that situations are so violent that their protective instincts are kicking in. And they want everything, they want the perfect setup to go in, right? SWAT team, uh, door batterers, and, uh, you know, flak jackets and all kinds of shit. Well, time is of the essence. There's no time. There's no time for that. So I firmly believe that the, the inquiries are going to be very rough. Uh, you know, whoever's the senior commander is, is, I mean, I hate to say it, he or she is going to be disgraced uh, at the end of it all. And uh, they'll, I, no doubt they'll probably resign or something because it's, it's, it's going to reshape Texas. It's going to reshape Texas. Nothing will happen because they weren't white kids. No, something's going to happen, Lucy. Something's going to happen. There will be a um, there. There will be a lot that goes on. Trust me. Looks like the Mormon showed up. Yeah, I think a lot, that's probably a great point, Kit and Cat, that a lot of uh, our understanding of police comes from. Um, but I know that on every, every police door to protect and serve has always been the model of citizens on patrol. That's always been the motto. Yeah, I don't think color had any issue to do with the response, in my opinion. Uh, and I don't say that lightly. But 
I think it had been an all-white school. I don't think uh, they would have been equally reluctant not to go in. I just don't see it. I mean, it's just it's just the stand of stuff. It's just, uh, you know, there was this fear. They're getting calls. People are dying inside. 911's going off the hook. And they're like, whoa, this is a good day to die. You know, and the governor said, well, your duty's to die then. He just didn't, he didn't mince words. He did not mince words. Yeah, the Mormons, I know we've had discussions about that before, High Watch. Well, Lucy, I just don't see it that way. I think you're connecting the dots in your mind, and I don't think that, uh, uh, I don't think that color had an issue or, or race or anything like that. I think it was just the stand of what was going on. And I just think that they came to the conclusion it's too violent and we just don't want to go in there. So 70 minutes later, I don't really know much, a lot about Abbott, I'm not really sure, but I know that he's very upset about this. This is definitely, this has definitely hurt a lot of Texans. It's wounded Texas pride for sure, and that's that's when uh, that's when shit will really get into high gear in terms of uh, response and what the roles are. And if you can't do it, quit the force. If you're not prepared to go through that window, oh, Cass, I didn't do anything for the guy. guys wouldn't have done. Uh, I generally, as a point of, as a, a regular procedural thing, I almost always give money if, if people ask. Uh, but if somebody's sitting on the ground, I want them to stand up. I'm not going to bend down, stand up and take the money, you know, I mean, so they'll stand there a second waiting for me to bend over and I'm like, no, stand up. I have no idea, Kit Cat. There's a lot that's going to be read about this thing. And I don't want to say too much in advance because I don't know a lot. But I know the initial stories were lies that came out. Uh, they were, uh, were bald-faced lies. And I think that's what's got the governor steaming, too. That some people had a real case of liabilities. Yeah, I'm not sure either. I'm going to wait for things to come out, but I'll tell you this. I know what the result was. Come on, dude. What are we doing? Two miles an hour? Hey, Sean. I know what the result was. A whole lot of very sad families and sad community. I'm just hanging around. I don't have. I'm so tired from working and uh, getting up early and cleaning the house. And I'm I'm pretty much exhausted tonight, so I'm gonna take it real easy. It's it's probably the most emotional moment for me when it comes to uh, emer emergency personnel since 9/11. Right. Well, and I just thought to myself, and I'm sure the firefighters had no concept that the building was going to come down on top of them. But they sure as hell didn't hesitate to run into the building while everybody else was trying to get the hell out. I mean, that's that's real heroism. Coward stealing and enjoying harassing uh, citizens. <clears throat> I don't know what the hell. You must be watching TV or something. And be on the wrong channel or something.
Uh, yeah, it's the weekend. It's time to relax. I really had to bust my ass to get the place into shape. So the last thing to do tomorrow is get the bathroom all cleaned up and then we're going to be good to go. Yeah, so why don't you explain it to me? You always talk so cryptically. You're so educated and so smart, boss. Why don't you tell us uh, in a non-cryptic way if you're capable of it? in posting more than a simple phrase. Buttercup baby, how are you? This guy always posts the most cryptic bullshit. Oh. And you sit there with your thumb up your ass waiting. I'm praying I love your yard and kitchen. Yeah, it's going to be a good time. Um, have a nice dinner tomorrow night. Don't have to really worry about going shopping. We'll go shopping on uh, Monday. I'm uh, really with your stay. I don't understand, boss. I have no idea because a lot of times you probably may not be aware. Although you speak very well and you're very forthright and very concise in your language, when it comes to your written skills, I don't even know what the hell you say. Yeah, I don't even know what the hell you say. Don't take your pissy mood out on me. Must not be boss, that is with Janet, yeah. <clears throat> Uh, I ain't in the mood for it tonight. Oh, what's that a Jeep? Damn, is it? Here's the parking services. These guys are vultures. These guys are vultures. We got 12 minutes till free to park. I think the guy just wants to go home, right? <laughs> Doesn't want to get out and write any tickets. Can we get a coffee, MR? I don't know who we is. I'm holding a coffee in my hand. Yeah, you got to be honest. The dog boss is Moy Cal again. Yeah, he's a, he's a, I really, next you say you don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Uh, just just drop it boss how about if I just apologize to you and then we move on okay you're right the boss should write in a plain he should write in a plain and understanding manner but he loves he's always loved on social media to post stuff that's cryptic and obtuse you will rarely ever see a complete sentence you will never see more than one sentence and uh, oftentimes you will never get a reply to the question. So I got a turd in my pocket. Nice. I wouldn't be surprised, MR. How you doing, Brenda? Good to see you. Whereas me, on the other hand, I tend to be very to the point and very plain spoken about stuff and just hit it, hit it and quit it. Hit it, get it out there, be clear about it. Now they were talking about something else today that confused me a little bit too. And some of y'all have been gone on cruise. I'm not sure it's the boss. Uh, could be, maybe not. I don't know. But I saw today uh, that um, the cruise ships are starting to the cruise ships are starting to cancel some uh, sailings because they don't have enough staff. That was such as the sum of the children may have survived. Uh, yeah, they would not let all that time pass medical attention. Uh, yeah, the boss has a burr under the saddle tonight. It's this one, I told you before, this one goes down hard. And I'm all about support to blue and back to blue. 
I like blunt and honest, you know, when you stand. Yeah, if you're blunt and honest, it gives people a chance to peel off if they don't like it. You know, but why... Why spin people's wheels and why parse stuff? I'm as upset as a lot of you are. I don't really have gun use, but I do appreciate you. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, you know, Luce, Luca, I get it. And I think that that's wonderful. That's one of the things that I really pride myself on in this chat. Is that people can come in and they don't have to agree with me. And I'm not here to make an echo chamber. Did you hear about the women who really stopped the shooting with her? Yes, I did. Yeah. She's a hero. Uh, I'm not running an echo chamber here. There's quite a few people that don't like the fact that this is a very armed nation. I get that. They envision an idealized world where where people will turn in their weapons including the crooks and we won't have to worry about that the problem is in the United States of America we know that there's zero chance that the crooks will ever lay down their weapons oh thank you thank you Tess thank you I'm all in black tonight I'm undercover You see, these days, people just waltz into a store. They've been told the employees don't encounter, don't harass. Let them walk out the door. So they'll walk into an Alta and just fill up bag after bag and walk out the store. Or take a baseball bat and smash the plate glass windows on a jewelry shop. That was on Rodeo Drive and just start reaching in and grabbing stuff. Crooks get caught little by little, and their weapons get confiscated. Got to start somewhere. It's never been proven to be uh, effective, in my opinion. And I don't mean this in a negative way. It's a very Pollyanna approach to things. Uh, I guarantee you the last people armed will be the ones that are the roving bands of wolves out there. They can pass whatever law they're, they're bearing on the reality. Yeah. Only the honest would follow. Not not bad guy. No bad guys ever gonna lay down a weapon. The beauty for us is that weapons tend to be expensive, so the average really low life on the street is not going to have one because he would immediately pawn it for drugs or turn it in for drugs or cash for booze or something like that. So that's that's the saving grace on that. Uh, I'm, uh, yeah, just I'm not just I'm not a big advocate of. Uh, I think you know, and I mean this in a kind way. I think a lot of people are out of touch with what the streets are like, and I think that there's few people. Uh, yeah, you can 3D print weapons now, but you have to have a 3D printer. Uh, I'm in a good day. Yeah, thank you, RK. Um, I've been on the streets since 2013. Almost every day. I've seen the trend of stuff change. I used to be able to walk around where the water tank is, where that big homeless place was, walk along the trail, walk over the bridge, encounter people. You haven't seen me do that in a long time. Things have changed out there. It's spooky. And I don't see it getting better. I wish it would. Am I sure in producing a weapon will factor? Yeah, over time that'll factor. Uh Yeah, well, we can't go back in time. I wish one cop had just broken off and just kicked in the damn window or something. Did something. You know that, and you're being more careful. Yeah, I am being more careful, High Watch, for sure. 
things change. I'm very perceptive of the streets. Uh, especially since the pandemic, people have a much shorter fuse. You're prohibited from purchasing large quantities of Sudafed. People still smoke there. Is there a place to protect the community? Uh, yeah, I don't know about that. I remember they used to get Sudafed and uh, codeine cough syrup. My phone will be on, but nobody will know where the red flags on social media. Well, they showing that the Eagles music is played, though. Yeah, that's a good point, boss. Now, there's something I can wrap my head around. He's exactly right. YouTube can... YouTube's AI... Their flagging system can pick out when ACDC's on. And just basically cause a hangout to be down for 12 hours till it's re-edited and stuff like that. You telling me social media can't comb through those postings like the boss said, AI? I really think that's the most intelligent thing I've seen tonight. West Virginia, one that's heavy with gun. We don't have much shooting good like they, they trade guns for drugs. West Virginia's bigger problem. Yeah, uh, won't be a stranger anymore. Uh, well, welcome, RK. More licensing and mandatory training. Well, the problem is there's also a recognition of people that crooks aren't going to go through mandatory licensing and training. This is the one edge that the cops have, and and average person is proficient with firearms. Hey, Amelia, when the time comes. A lot of thugs fumble and stumble and really don't understand how to use weapons. And, uh, you know, if the slightest thing goes wrong, they're out of the game. So, especially with the shitty uh, weapons that a lot of them have, they're not taking care of them. They're not keeping them in good shape. Cleaning them, doing the things required. I mean, but I totally agree with my rights, yeah. Well, I back everybody's opinion here. You know, I've had the Canadian contingent that comes in, and they're, you know, they're proud. They don't have weaponry, and you have it's very regulated. You can hunt. They have certain licensing for hunting, and if you want something bigger, there's a whole another level of licensing and things. But they've not had the Second Amendment, right? They're not under a constitutional form of government. And I think that's a big difference between us. Uh, they weren't, they didn't achieve their independence through a revolution like we did. You know, with the, with the tyranny from the late 1600s through the uh, late 1700s. Your peeps are very friendly. Yeah, it's a friendly chat, RK. It's a friendly chat because opinions are definitely welcome here and differences. Yeah, that was a good point. If you want to own a fire, I don't see anything wrong taking a safety course. I don't either. I had to require. You have to... When you purchase a weapon, everybody thinks California is anti-gun. They can't stop you from having a weapon here. Okay. You go into the gun store, which there's a lot in California, and you tell them what you want to buy. You put a deposit down, or you put the full purchase price down, and they'll take your information, your license, and they'll send that over to the Department of Justice. And provided you don't hear anything, you come back in 7 to 10 days, and you pick up your weapon. You've already gone through your background check. In the meantime... They've given you a booklet to read and study, and when you go back to pick up your weapon, the federally licensed firearms dealer will see if you're proficient enough to at least probably not shoot yourself in the foot. At which point, then you're able to leave with your weapon. It has to be locked in a case, transported in your uh, vehicle under lock and key. Hello, uh, hello, Felipe. 
Philippe. Uh, and I would recommend anybody take a gun gun safety course and get proficient. Learn how to clean it. Learn, learn how to fix a jam. Uh, learn learn proper <coughs> proper ammunition. Learn to keep your fucking finger off of the trigger. Learn to never raise that barrel <coughs> to anybody. Yeah, there's a safety test you have to take. Exactly. I've seen uh, when Jen and I used to go to the one range after Christmas, we always dreaded it because the, you know, the guys would get their guns for Christmas and they would go out there with their 90-pound girlfriends, hey, Bella Rose, and they would put a, a three fifty seven Magnum long barrel in the girlfriend's hands and get ready to watch for the recoil to put her on her ass. Meanwhile, the, the gun is flailing backwards and she's falling backwards. And they just, they just yeet people off the, off the range. Don't come back. You're blacklisted. Or people will turn around with the gun. I mean, really? I mean, there's protocol, and they don't, they don't mess around. You see us in Las Vegas. Every minute that we're in that gun range, we have two safety officers that are standing behind that glass watching every damn thing that people do. They're checking your ammunition to make sure that you're uh, not steel and you have a steel jacket. It is okay. I mean, they're going through everything. This maybe this will be the one going. No, I don't think there'll be any change. Friend died after he shot himself with a shotgun while cleaning it. Looked in the barrel. He's like, "Yeah, you never do that." You break the breech, open it. It's one thing they cha they train you. But people drop weapons, they shoot themselves. I mean, one of, the, one of the most renowned preppers and a guy I really like, T.R. Prepper, he shot himself in the arm. I go to the mountains to practice on private land. That's good. T.R. Prepper. Messing around with a gun. I don't know whether he's cleaning it or reloads and he shot himself. Got to be ultra careful. You get a gun, you got to do a police interview, sign three different permits, and that includes the interview. Yeah. It happens. I mean, every nation, every country's different. Hello, Universe Angel. Hello. Welcome to the chat. But I think the boss has a very good point. You could, you should be able to red flag this stuff, especially when somebody's in posting on social media. And Kit and Cat and I have been batting back and forth the idea of uh, social media, and I've come to the conclusion myself that it's about 90% bad. <clears throat> If there was no social media, I feel my hand to God, and I would bet everything I have that this kid would have never gone off the rails and did what he did if there was if there was no social media. But because you can get in there and watch all kinds of bullshit, you lose your grip on reality and, and fancy yourself as some self-styled hero of vengeance of. Uh, the Avenger. <clears throat> well, it's pretty rigorous, Luca. I don't know if you've ever gotten a weapon here. It's not a slam dunk. Okay. I don't want to minimize what you're required to do. I don't want to try to tell him people like an elephant with a tow truck driver. <laughs> Moose knuckle. Yeah, if there was no audience. I think we've been batting that around a little bit, kit and cat, but there's no pipeline for... Uh, ridiculous conspiracy theories and other bullshit that fills people's heads. Kentucky ballistics blow up is so yeah, yeah. Well, Ed, part of it is you're handling that stuff every day. See, I go in frequently enough that you know there's a high degree of safety. There's a high degree of um, carefulness. But if you're like Hickok 45 and you're out there every day shooting it up, you start to get a little casual with stuff. I'm not saying he does. 
How you doing, Craig? The cheese is delicious. Well, mostly, it is mostly bad. You want to look for the real culprit in society? That's it. Some of it's been good, but for the most part, it's been just crap. I mean, this, this, this kid was uh, telegraphing his move, uh, posting shit on Instagram and all that. It's meant to make money, not be a benefit. Yeah. Well, we've certainly do, seen it do that, but the walls are crumbling in on social media now. <sighs> They'll never have the earnings that they had. They'll never have the uh, overinflated prices that they had. I agree, and it's not going to get, ever get better. It's going, to get, it's going to get worse. The trend is not going to turn. The cheese was excellent. Yeah, 30 year police vets will have accidental discharge. Exactly, it happens. You can take all the precautions in the world, and that's why they call it an accident. Unintentionally happened. It is really good, Craig, and I'm gonna baby that I'm gonna baby that loaf. Really good. Nice and crumbly, which is good. You know it's a good cheese when it's got that, you know, it's got a little bit of a crumble factor to it. It's really good. Excellent. 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 You got a squib once, huh? Hey, Darla, how you doing? If they draw me out on this time around eventually. Yeah, it, well, they, they were talking about the ad monies uh, declining radically now. What's strange is they're turning from young people as influencers and they're now turning to older people. Uh, grand, they call them grand influencers now. I guess they figure that's where the money's going to be in the futures. <laughs> it's all about the ad money. I mean, take away the ad money, you would have subscription services. Um, but how many people would be creators long term on YouTube if there was no, if there was no monetary uh, compensation for it? Besides me. <laughs> I'm not always insurance companies. That, <laughs> they do too. So, you know, a bullet gets stuck in the barrel. Jalapeno chicken tonight. You like? Yeah, I do enjoy spicy. Uh, to a point, but then spice tends to be cumulative, and a lot of people think spice is heat. And you have something that's ultra spiced up, and then after like three or four bites, you're insensitive to the taste. Your your taste buds have lost the ability to taste because they're overwhelmed with just the sensation of heat. I don't like that point. That point I don't like to cross because it takes all the pleasure out. So there's a there's a bit of spice, but not overly spiced. Just you, I think cooking is about balance. Can I taste this in the food? Can I taste that? Or is it all just heat, 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 heat? And I think a lot of a lot of restaurants are guilty of, you know, make stuff hot and just pour hot sauce on something. You have tapatia and it has just a little bit of tea, heat on it. You know, it's nice. It's got a little tongue zing. And it wakes up the eggs and the other things that you're putting on it. Tapatio and um, uh, Mickle Henry. I mean, these are good. Yeah, they're not going to waste you. Burnt tongue is no fun. I hope you're doing good today. I'm just doing the... Yeah, cute kitty. Look at me. I got the windows open. I'm so damn happy uh, Diane didn't come last week. And I'll tell you what. That one day... Of a hundred degrees, just burn the hell out of the pollen. That was it. Listen to Joe Rogan in the afternoon when X. That's cool.
But a lot of times, what social media was driven by was controversy. Drama sells, right? So if you take a counter position to the mainstream, you get involved with the mainstream and battling back and forth. So it becomes about views and how big of an audience you can generate and things like that. And I think the truth gets plowed under somewhere between those two points. Natural jalapeno, forget the ton of cayenne pepper. Yeah, I'm really like, hey, Celestial Beauty. How you doing, Celeste? I like heat just to the point where my nose... Yeah, I just don't like... Ooh, I've been... You love hot sauce. I like hot sauce too, but not to the point where it's detrimental to tasting shit. I just... I'm not down with that. Let me see what my battery level is here. i got to keep an eye on these birds here. I got to keep an eye on these birds. Let me see something. Okay. Let me take on violent videos. I don't like it at all, Amelia. But it's freedom of... I just think it falls under the heading of parenting. And the... And People are going to pursue the path of least resistance. To be to be a good parent is a path of a lot of resistance a lot of times. And the path of least resistance is give in, focus on your own self, and if it if it shuts the kid up, just do it. The ability to say no. I'm just checking. Yeah, it's good to see you, Celeste. I hope you're doing well, sweetie. It's always a pleasure to see you. Like I said, it was a it was a mind blower to me eight years ago when I used to when I started doing restaurant reviews or whatever, and I would go in and I would see a family go in and they would just stick the iPad in the kids, you know, the two or three year old's hands, and they'd just be totally oblivious to what's going. On. No socialization. Hey, Mary, I'm worried about that. Eating spicy hot food while heavy drinking landed me. Oh, Lord. Ooh. Was that gallbladder or something? Was that gallbladder, Buttercup Baby, or what happened? I'm curious. They compare his taxes shooting to the sandy. Him talking to your microphone must be pretty. Yeah, they're. Uh, I'm surrounded. I leave kids in their bedroom and the game is bad parenting, yeah. Now it's it's you know, and they'll say it's harder now because of social media. Again, I think social media has been a real negative. Heck, I hate it arguments. I let my daughter get away with too much of a sickness and I have to say what you're good but well that's nice, Cass. You know, I can't you know, you're disabled and sick. I mean there's there's you gotta give people a pass. Hey, hey, Missy, nobody expects you to be a June Cleaver, uh, you know, or a, uh, you know, whatever the old lady Huxtable's name was, Felice Rashad. Has she done anything lately? Ooh, that Cadillac's badass looking. Oof. Oh. Uh. And he went around the side of the uh, building. She's a great adult, and I'm proud of. Well, it's good, Cass. Good. I put my boy in sports and went and watched him. Yeah, who's <laughs> June Cleaver? <laughs> uh, <laughs> You're capping me as usual, Nicole. I had an ulcer that was the one over that kept healing over and turned into a mass in my stomach. Holy shit! Yeah, Claire Huxtable, yeah. <laughs> but in 19, early 60s, late 50s, into the 70s, if a kid ran away, you didn't really worry about it. There weren't that many Zodiac killers out there running around. 
the kid would usually walk down to a park or something and hang out for a while and then come home or you know just nowadays you're so worried about what's on the streets with this this freaking trafficking damn roofies i've been looking at uh you know i'll tell you ladies you go out to clubs or something like that you'd be goddamn careful you'd be damn careful yeah that's good craig yeah thumbs up or appreciated i've been hearing more and more stories of uh Girls getting drugged in Vegas and places like that. You better be damn careful. Don't ever, ever, ever walk away from a drink. Don't ever walk away from the drink. If you can't drink that in that sitting, don't walk away. Don't leave it. Worst case, tell the bartender, pull it back behind the bar till you come back. This shit just seems out of control. wake up the next day you know friggin idea what the hell happened they have all the at least thank god they got the code now for a, a, a drink that a girl can go up and say I want an angel or whatever the hell it is yeah women are getting abducted just going to the store now never leave a bar alone uh, yeah, they have what is called the angel or something, and if you say that to the bartender, it, needs, it means you need uh, escort to get out of there. Smart. I just worry about girls in Vegas. They follow around and park at Walmart and then the park. Exactly. I'm trying to close. Keep it close to you, Amanda. You're Bombay Sapphire. I'd love to see. Send me a picture, Amanda, of you with your drink. Uh, too many S with his bad. Yeah, that there pays off. Yeah, my cousin waiting man was drugged in Vegas. She was loose enough to. Wow. I hate to hear that. But it seems to be a story that I'm hearing more and more these days. And you get them enough. They don't have to knock you out. They just get you so you can't make proper decisions for yourself. Oh, I'll help you out to the car. Then you get into a fucking car and they don't see you again. Beer since the 19A uh, closing was uh, out of control. Yeah, no, don't say that, Missy. Bullshit. Nobody's ugly. I picked up my grandson the other day and then Junior and I said, where are all your books? You just on the top or Chromebooks. Everything's in there. Duh. That's all right. Yeah, send me a pic, Amanda. I look forward to it. I'd like to see you with your Bombay blue sapphire. <laughs> You're the only one of us that's getting any love, so... <laughs> We have to we have to live vicariously through you. Do 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 do. So just uh, Vegas is a great place. That shit happened once. Let me tell you guys. Once you're ten miles outside of Vegas, you those of you a lot of you fly in, you fly out. You got no concept of what's outside of the limits of Las Vegas beyond the suburbs and shit. It ain't nothing out there. Okay? It's not like you got to run the gauntlet to get out of town. It's pretty damn scary out there in the desert. I don't bring that in. It's very nice to be found there. That's a nice. I'm glad, Amanda. I'm happy. Very happy. Here comes the train. Yeah, it's a dead desert. I'm so glad my sister and I were able to afford private school for my nephew. It's a LA public schools aren't safe.
Well, that's it's a decision they made. I get a lot of people don't have that ability to do that. Uh, you know, to put the kids through public school and all that. But you know, we rode herd on them, made sure the shit was done right. And, uh, it happened to me 20 years ago in West Virginia. Night to be a big town, yeah. But I'm saying the opportunities. Buttercup Baby in Vegas are legendary because if you go to like a town nightclub or even Gillies, some of the places, you're going to have low lights. You're going to have hundreds of people milling around. You're going to have maybe five to ten security guards that have to keep their eye on a lot of shit. Now, they're supposed to be a pretty big line of defense when they see a girl being walked out the door that doesn't look like she's capable of uh, things. That's their responsibility to get involved. Yeah, today, children in school at home are less expensive, I believe. It all comes down to parenting now, Moose Knuckle. If you're a parent that says, school never did nothing for me, then... My brother-in-law's parents are multi-millionaires. So that's your sister's husband. Yeah, does, does, he, does he have a sister? <laughs> hey, Smelly Cat. Hey, DNS. I got a video coming out for you tomorrow. I've got a vintage audio listening experience, the first one in two years. It's coming out tomorrow as we get back on track with uh, broadening the content again. Getting ready to embark on the restoration. Hey, Phil, how are you? The Italian stallion. Yes, but she's married. Just my luck. Damn it. But you understand what I'm saying. I've been to some clubs uh, many years ago when my daughter turned 21 up at the Voodoo Club up on top of the Rio Hotel. There'd be hundreds of people in there. You can't watch everybody's drinks. You can't be responsible for everybody's drinks. But it's a different era now. Yeah, keep your hand over your drink. You got to be careful, Nicole, because you're younger. Uh, you tend to be out a lot more and things like that. So you just you have to be extra careful. I could be seeing again in the near future. Well, that would be amazing. Now, Linda Ronstadt had Parkinson's. She had Parkinson's disease. Have they been able to reverse that? Because uh, I know Michael J. Fox. Uh, you know, I don't. I don't know what kind of shape he's in now. I mean, I don't. He's. I don't think he can even hardly stand anymore. I don't know. Oh, it's so windy there. Yes, yeah, Smelly Cat, the high desert, babe. I thought that she had uh, Parkinson's or something. Julie Andrews lost her voice. They, she had botched vocal cord surgery or something. Pollux. I know Julie Andrews uh, had surgery and it screwed her voice up. Yeah, I don't know if Linda... I mean, I don't know. I thought she had a debilitating um, uh, chronic illness, sadly. I always enjoyed her singing. She was good looking too. <laughs> Governor Jerry Brown. Yeah, Julie Andrews is one of the nicest people I've ever met. Yeah, it just... She has Parkinson's really bad. Yeah, I don't know anything about the social side of Julie Andrews. I always associated her with a very high degree of professionalism. 
I really never heard anybody speak negatively about uh, about her. Her and Dar's Day are two standouts that uh, were just genuinely nice people. The multimillionaire grandparents also helped pay for my nephew's private school. Well, your dad's a multimillionaire, right? There's favorite nephew, grandnephew, whatever the hell it is. Yeah, make sure you check out the video of Buttercup Baby on the Cypress, uh, the Cypress Inn in, uh, I don't know if you were around last year when I went to the Cypress Inn in Carmel, her uh, hotel that she bought with another guy amazing place and looking at all of her memorabilia and stuff it was amazing uh linda ronsat has progressive supranuclear uh palsy oof poor gal shit Yeah, check it out. I think you'll enjoy it. Maybe one of my moderators, I guess it's just Shumay, maybe uh, just put Dar's Day in my search box. It should come up there. Hey, pray for surf. Play, pray for surf. How are you down under? I love you. They're very moving. and stir a lot of... Oh, well, thank you, Cash. I have a vintage audio listening experience coming up tomorrow for the first time in years. Should be a pl planet. She was very cute. I thought she was very good looking. She was a good singer too. When she did that uh, duet. I don't. Th I keep. I always say it was Peebo Bryce, but I don't know who in the hell it was. She did a duet. I can't remember who in the hell she did. I don't know much, but I know I love you. Let me be. What's coming up on TikTok? Well, I'm gonna put up an audio thing tomorrow. A little more bikini stuff. I got Diane. We're gonna do some morning uh, dancing and stuff. And I'll do a little TikTok. I just. I'm gonna watch. Well, thank you, Cass. What do you got coming up, Nicole? Yeah, Aaron Neville. Thank you, Shemay. Love that duet. Look at these eyes. Do, do, do. I don't know much, but I know I love you. Let me. Dorges, door stays gorgeous, Cypress Inn. There you go, Buttercup Baby. Just bookmark that for later and check it out. You like Doris Day? You'll love that. She was classy as hell. And her and this guy named Donnie, they went in together on this uh, inn. And uh, the place is just classy. Go check it out. They were kind enough to let me go inside and wield the camera around because, you know, I'm pushy. Uh, you know, I need to wear sunglasses. Do, 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 do. Well, we're gonna we're not gonna be in bikinis. We're gonna just be in cute outfits and things. Yeah, check it out, Buttercup Baby. I think that you will enjoy that. So, what do you got coming up, Nicole, on TikTok? You notice too, Nicole, that uh, since we raised a bitch uh, two months ago or so, we don't have any trans gals that are being uh, bounced off of TikTok now. Isn't it nice? They finally decided uh, the trans day of acceptance should mean something. Over 4% rise in property values this last month. Yeah, property's always a lagging thing. Equities are leading... Real estate's very lagging. Nothing planned. I gotta film some stuff. I better go to your other channels. I like this. I only do, I don't do much on the Murphy channel. Yeah, there's no more issues. I think because we just bitched on Twitter. Uh, 
you know, why have the joke of the trans day of acceptance if people were being bounced left and right for doing the same thing that cisgendered people were doing? Same outfits and shit. Like, what the hell? I think they've really lifted their game, Nicole. I'm happy about that. I'm happy you came in with me on Twitter and kind of bounced that around a little bit. They still haven't restored my video with the AK-47, which pisses me off. <clears throat> I'm bringing an oversized t-shirt to wear. Yeah, good, Diane. Wear what you want. Be happy. All right. We'll do a lot of little vignettes on um, TikTok and stuff. Okay. You should go live on your Diane C. channel, too, on YouTube. An article in the New York says Linda has Parkinson's. That's what I thought, Noreen. And I hope you're doing well today, Noreen. And I, I feel sad about that. I feel sad about uh, Michael J. Fox, you know, one of my favorite actors. I love Overs. You look good. You look good, Nicole. You always look good. I had that Hawaiian shirt on this morning. I was swimming in that thing. Yeah, that's what we're looking for, cute. I think we're going to go down to uh, point raise. We, we can't really go... I don't know if stuff... we got to call ahead and see if anything is going to be open on Monday. Yeah, no more, yeah, no more shaving, huh? The kitties. Yeah, when you lifted up the shirt, I think some people had a heart attack. It's like, look, man, I'm not coming out naked on that. <laughs> Uh, my YouTube is so straight laced these days. <laughs> uh, man, once in a while I'll throw over something from TikTok over there. And... Tanya, how you doing, sweetie pie? Happy Saturday to you. How are you doing, babe? 2014. Oh, I don't know, Nicole. What are you talking about? Oh. They loved you on TikTok. Every place will be packed this week. Yeah, right with the eyes. I think it'll be pretty high, boss. Um, uh, battery level is good. Thank you, Beach Ball. Thank you. 100%. We're working good. I... I uh, hope Monday might be a nice day to run down. We do the shopping uh, in the morning. And then we make a go of it. Or we make that for Tuesday morning. I, I don't know. I love I love loud Hawaiian shirts. My heart skipped a beat. <laughs> Joe. <laughs> Joe. Joey D's been through the dark days. <laughs> I never know what I'm going to see, Rosie. I never know what I'm going to see. Uh, I skipped a beat when you lifted your shirt. They really, really had shorts on. Do you want to dance video? I don't, uh, I don't know, Diane. We can talk about it when you get here. I mean, we got uh, some restaurant reviews to get done and some other things. Uh, I'm going to try to spend a little bit of money and make sure that you're taken care of here. Gas here is $6.29, $6.29.9 a gallon. I'm doing pretty good, thanks. Oh, yeah, I'm doing good. And we just started breaking out on Friday. Thursday, we started breaking out to the upside again on oil. Uh, we went from 110 to 115 a barrel, so we're probably going to exceed 120 bucks a barrel. We'll probably be at $7 a gallon here. And possibly $10 by August, something like that. So, Yeah, Diane, I got you covered. I've put a little bit of scratch away to take care of the visit. And I don't want to never yeah never yeah sherry never wear a hawaiian shirt at a protest so i don't want you coming up 
dying. Oh, I'm going to pay for this. I'm going to pay for that. Okay. I got you covered. Yeah, thank you. I like a lot of variety. Yeah, you thought it was the end of me on YouTube. <laughs> How many times have you thought that? Uh, let's see. Sarah Kate, good feedback. I know you went to a family reunion. Family reunion was fun today. A little drama when my aunt went into a seizure and we had to call them. But yeah, well, I'm glad she's okay, Sarah. And I'm really glad that you went. No one's going to drive again. Well, it's going to force alternatives, and that's what I think the administration wants. Uh, with climate change and other things, I think they just say we've got to just take the pain so high that we get everybody and his mother out there fucking around trying to discover alternative energies and stuff. So there's nothing like a little monetary incentive to to whet the appetite for human ingenuity. And, uh, under four bucks. Oh, it's okay. It's still a high, right, Missy? Right, Missy? Like it's still, everything's relative, right? You know, I'm sure four bucks, under four bucks still hurts in Oklahoma. And you're out there in Bartlesville, the home of T. Boone Pickens and Phillips Petroleum. Legendary Bartlesville, Oklahoma. Yeah, so everything's relative. I got food poisoning from deviled eggs that have found that. <laughs> <laughs> Tanya, did you figure out who to blame it on? <laughs> Invite them over to your place and just leave the eggs out for two days. Deb, the RN, 425. How you doing, Deb? Good to see you. 425 in Iowa. Again, Deb, everything is relative, right? So 425 stinks. 629.9 here. I'm sure it's going to be 659 next week. How do you lower your PG&E bill? I um, turn off computers. I uh, uh, don't use any, haven't used any gas in the house. Uh, Blackbird has been much more stringent about turning off the lights and things in the shine shack. And um, we took we have that bill, half the electric use. So I'm happy, really happy. Yeah, you don't figure it out who to blame. Tanya, I would have gotten to that bottom of that shit. I was very happy when I opened my PG&E bill and it was literally cut in half. Because the boss thinks I should be putting up some um, solar. I have to run the... Yeah, well, Nicole, look at where you live, honey. Tucson, Arizona is hotter than a $2 pistol. I'm surprised you've got that. You know, it must be nice at night, though, at 9 when the sun's down and you can finally go outside a little bit and uh, get a little bit of a breeze there, the desert breezes and stuff. That's what I loved about Yuma and Tucson was the breezes at night. Uh, first time posting, sent me a shot out. Scott from Cleveland. Hey, Scott, thank you the great uh, city of Cleveland, Ohio. Uh, it hurts my head. Diane wants to pay. You should let him. Um, hey, Pop. It's 409 here in Missouri. The groceries are higher. That is Christmas tree lights out here. <laughs> yeah, the nights I love it. I always, I love the nights in the desert. Uh, there's something very special. That's the time I would hit the pool. Hey, Barry, and all that stuff. Hit the trap and hit the pool. Yeah, welcome, Scott. You live in a great state, Ohio. What's on the menu? Um, I'm just found some more of the beef burgers. I'm just going to have some hack job chili. If you hate it, you hate it. It's cold tonight. It's cool. I take dry heat over humidity. I lived in Hong Kong, I lived in Baltimore, and yes, I will take, I will take the dry heat, yeah. Hey D. oh you're also from Cleveland too, oh cool, what a very underrated state, Columbus, Dayton, Cleveland, uh, Toledo, Ashtabula, 
lot of lot of cool shit to um, post industrial stuff, <clears throat> football hall of fame, rock and roll hall of fame. It's a lot of cool stuff in Ohio. Ooh. The uh, birthplace of presidents, all of the space program, the Wright brothers, the Wright Patterson Airfield. Very good. I 70 is very nice, too. Very well maintained road. I wanted to spend more time in Columbus. And also Cincinnati, of course. <clears throat> I'm going to have to go down to the desert and hang out with Nicole down there. I don't really mind the desert in summertime. Just you, you, Your days suck, but you got to find other things to do during the day. Because uh, let me tell you, in the summertime, oh, I hang at the pool all day. Let me tell you, these people get roasted in Vegas. They get fucking roasted. Any more than an hour poolside, you're done. You're done. Yeah, there's a lot to do down there. I will be in the slabs in June. Oh, that's cool. I might be in the slabs in early June. Trying to get it together. I'm waiting until Palm Springs gets, you know, like the second week of June, it just slides off the table. For cheaper, it might be later in uh, June when I'm recovering from my simple surgery. <clears throat> yeah, I've, I've only ever rolled past Tucson, got gassed up there, got something to eat. I'd like to see uh, Tucson. I'd like to get back to Yuma again and get over to Los Algodones get my teeth all cleaned up just Scott I don't know if you've been in the slabs before but June really raises the curtain on the hideously hot temperatures down there and please make sure that you're you that you set something to remind you to hydrate No, you don't need to rent a car, Diane. You just take it easy. I'm not going to be very fit company because I'm going to be rolling on to Las Vegas and all that. We'll have our fall de roll up here. But if you want to come to the springs when I'm there, that's cool. Um, yeah, if you've not been to the slabs before, just... just you know, we had to put one guy that lives down there in a, in a hotel room last year. And he's been a long time, or like eight years down there. So just just be damn careful. Especially if you sense that you're sweating and just constantly perspiring. That's that's like a uh, 20 ounces of water every half hour deal. It's, uh, it's, I think it's a one-time thing, Nicole. I mean, I don't have a desire to be off-grid in, in a desert. Like, I check out Mike Living Free's video. He's up there in the desert, uh, a high desert in northern Arizona. And he's battling the no -seums. And there's just, you know, what are you going to do? Yeah, heat stroke comes on when you lose your ability to even dissipate heat, yeah. And, you know, there's not a lot to do. You have to try to stay the hell out of the heat. And there is a sense of community down there. I mean, there will people that will feed you. You can go on a meal plan. There's, uh, there's some people, oh, going up for a month. Okay, try to get, try to get cooked up with some people. Check out the uh, community cause there. He'll put you in touch with... You can go take your meals. This woman cooks there, and there's a lot of places that you can pull in and use their camp. 
pay a little bit of money and they'll take care of you like it's a KOA campground. No scenes are all teeth and itch like hell. Yeah, I'm just saying, Sherry, they're, uh, he's suffering up there in the desert. And, and oh dear, what are you going to do? How are you going to be off grid? What kind of life can you build for yourself up there? I don't get it. I feel sorry when he lost sober. Yeah, I really love his dog. Yeah, just, but, you know, it's just like, it's, um, Man, I want to be, if I'm going to be in a desert, man, give me a hot one where there ain't no seams down in southern, uh, down in California or Nevada. Southern Arizona. It's just, it's just not conducive to long-term uh, off-grid. Yeah, it's just, it's, it's just not happening, Nicole. I mean, what kind of content can you do? You know, I have the, the rancho, so when I turn to the off-grid and start to do the homesteading, i got room to put up, you know, i got well water I can extract, I've got land to put a, uh, you know, a chicken coop on and have uh, uh, tons of row crops and things and uh, uh, canning empire and stuff. I was the last tip ever pay as go deal. Yeah, for me, I got to be in cities. I got to have the city life, and uh, I have to have all the amenities, the restaurants, the action, the chooching. Um, I'm not sure if there's a hostel, Scott. I mean, that Neeland is there. That's uh, that's about a mile outside of the slabs. <clears throat> it's a very rough road to get into <clears throat> Slab City from Neeland. I thought the van suspension was going to get destroyed. Never need no, that's good, Diane. Uh, yet bought land. I have no idea, Sherry. Uh, uh, seeing her troop living in the desert now, I, I don't get it. Uh, as long as you're not putting a permanent foundation in, they just consider it a temporary structure. So uh, you just base it on some, uh, you know, two by twelves and just set them up and. You're not doing sewage and all that. You're not running water lines. It's just a very rustic setup. But it's a lot of fun. I have a lot of, I have a lot of, I have a lot of ability to, to pivot in a lot of dis different directions with crops and uh, you can't really grow any food out in the desert. I mean, even if you get plants going like tomato plants they're just going to burn up at 6100 feet the uv the uh the uv index is just it's destructive and the heat they can't they can't pump enough moisture through their through their uh, stems and stuff to, to survive they just get sun scorched uh, and a place to cover car rentals nice Let's check in on young subs here. There they are. They are lovers. Happy people. She's very styling. Do, 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 do. Girlfriend, wife, Saturday tete a tete. Two different cars or one? Let's see. No, it was a little too hands on for the first aid, I think. She's got her Hyundai. He's got his Acura. Love for sale. <laughs> He's like, please come back to my place. <laughs> uh, 
I'm a private detective. I've got it all. <laughs> I don't know if he's in that car or not. I got no idea. No idea. Yeah, P.I., a big van gun under the camera, and you'll be in the middle of the TV show Cheaters. Isn't that cool? Damn, man, Cheaters could get pretty violent. I saw some crazy stuff come down on Cheaters. I don't know if that guy's in there or not. We better keep this guy under surveillance. We got a perp. Yeah, Joey Greco got stabbed on there, exactly. Sky rockets in flight, ooh, afternoon delight. And <laughs> moose knuckle. Good lord. <laughs> Moose Knuckle. I'm keeping it under surveillance. Oh, nothing going on. Go give the window a knock knock. You think I should do that, Nicole? What do you think I should do? Are you having an affair? My wife send you? Um Are you having an affair? Simple, yes or no? Uh nothing's ever simple. Uh just the facts, Jack. Let's see. Don't kiss and tell. No, I never invade people's I never invade people's private. The new host of cheaters. Seems too dangerous to me to Nicole. It seems really too dangerous to be on that. I mean people can go haywire. People can go haywire on that for you guys. <clears throat> Let me get my camera out. Just kidding. <laughs> I wouldn't take on that job. I, it's not my business. Not my circus. Not my... Uh, not my monkeys. I haven't seen a lot of people with Chevys tonight. Let's uh, let's scoot around town a little bit. Let's let's scoot around a little bit. Let's let's roll around a little bit. Yeah, I get full sun all day long. The uh, sun comes up from the front of the house and sets behind the house. So. see if this bird is here or not. I don't know. He's got like tinted windows. It's impossible to see. I can't see and I don't know if he's here or not. There's another Subaru brat. Wow. Yeah, it might have been his daughter. Do, 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 do. So I always have to uh, account for that possibility. All right, fourth the fourth street on this side, Railroad Square should be popping. Here, it's a shame this damn mall got built to cut the city in two. Let's see, anybody in the Kum Lama? Not that I see. Let's see, the uh, Italian place should be cooking La Cocos. Singing. Beware. Oh, baby, baby, it's wild. 
speaker that uh, I don't know what the hell's going on. Just another smile, girl. Oh, baby, baby, it's a wild world. Mustafa, something. Mustafa, Mustafa, or something. I've been crying lately, night on the peace train. E -I -E -I. Have you heard the sound of? Yeah, yeah. It's a, that's my favorite version. Uh, Deb is the version of "Sound of Silence" by Disturbed. I love that. I love that version. It's so in the cut of uh, Leonard Cohen. I love that. amazing it is amazing there's there's a lot to that song there is a lot to that song we'll start at the head of 4th Street and go down here yeah Yusuf Islam yes do 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 leave all the night on the peace train me do 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 yeah, on the same bill. Wouldn't that have been amazing? Throw a little Neil Young on there. Leonard Cohen. Be a pretty tripping concert. Throw a little Bob Dylan in. Be your headliner. Be kicking ass. Peace train home. Little Gordon Lightfoot. The legend lives on from the Chippewa on down of the big lake they call Gitchagumi. Superior, it said, never gives up its dead when the gales of November grow early. Ooh. Oh, Henry. Man, they still make that, huh? How about the famed Baby Ruth bar? All right, let's see if this Mexican place is popping tonight. This place is amazing over here. Ay, 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 ay. Looks, uh, this place will really be gone with the mariachi. Not many people around tonight. I'm really surprised. I love that song. Songwriting is storytelling. Any comment on the Amber? I really haven't watched it too much. It's just a couple of uh, Hollywood elites. I really don't connect to them too much, Deb. The problems of the rich and famous. Um, you know, I mean, it's it's kept a lot of people occupied watching it. But, uh, you know, there's been some good lines coming out and stuff. But it's not, it hasn't captivated my attention economics and society and politics have really been capturing my attention lately <clears throat> and I'm glad I got the morning chooch back for funny stuff so we get a good balance on the channel I'll tell you the winners are the lawyers at their billing rates that's the winners yeah, that's, uh, that's 3rd Street. We're going to turn here, and then we're going to go down 4th. Yeah, I just, I can't wrap my head around, he's, I, I've never gone for, I've never been one to enjoy he said, she said kind of stuff. It just rattles my brain. I guess we could go out this way a little more. 
let's see, gas here is six nineteen nine. That's cash at the Arco. That's like the value leader. I think you can get five sixty nine at Costco if you're a member. Trying to get a feel for what's going on. Let's see what. It's got this Italian restaurant over here with the little twinkle lights. Yeah, one of the doctors makes three hundred thousand. <clears throat> what do you five hundred dollars an hour for depositions and three thousand dollars an hour to appear in um, to appear in court? Give me a break. No, ain't nobody going to jail. Yeah, I'm enjoying my mornings. We all need a laugh in the morning. There's enough serious shit in the afternoon. Yeah, when I heard she took a dump in the bed, I'm just like, hey, you know, no guy wants to hear that. Much less see that. I mean, really? take a ride up the lifestyles that are rich and fabulous here. Uh, do, do, do. A lot of people left town for the mountains. I said, oh yeah, I bet, I bet I-80 was rocking. They were talking about Lake Tahoe, uh, Joe. And a lot of rich people really, uh, really, you can't do that in my bed. How you doing, Cindy? You poo or we in my bed on purpose, man, and you're going to just be gone. Let's see what we got tonight here. Let's go pretty street. I love this. This is the widest and richest street in town here. I love these homes. McDonald. These people know what life's about. I always thought this English style almost looks like a church here. This is where we ride the bike down, but you can never see sideways. Well, if a chick pranks me by taking a dump in the bed, you know what? That'll be the last prank. house beautiful they actually raised this thing up they jacked that house up and put a whole new foundation underneath of it Isn't that beautiful no shit Nicole this is the house that was featured in the movie all my sons with Edward G Robinson the homestead Burt Lancaster, another beautiful home. Yeah, never, never judge Santa Rosa by my neighborhood. That's for damn sure. You can hear a pin drop over here. this house. This is McDonald Avenue. McDonald Road or Avenue. Big Georgian columns like something out of Song of the South or something. Do, do, do. Yeah, a lot of movies. I'm going to show you a corner where four corners and three of the corner houses were in major motion pictures. And this one here is called Mableton Mansion here. And you can see that in my Halloween video, I actually got to go inside. This place is amazing. This is where they filmed the 1966 Disney movie Pollyanna here. Most expensive house in the city. 1860-something. I don't know what the hell it is. I mean, look at that place. Holy shit. There's a lot of money in this town. Don't judge by me. Mableton Mansion. Yeah, 
Yeah, this is a, this is a spectacular neighborhood. We ride by here on bike, but the camera's pointed ahead. To get a little more... There, okay, there ain't nothing to write home about down here, but... We'll come up the other way. You can see from the other side, there's some beauties. Look at that one. That's a classic flat roof Victorian there. Yeah, multi-million dollar homes. Multi, multi, multi-million. <coughs> Perfect neighborhood. A lot of these have always, a lot of these have been in major motion pictures. One corner, four houses, three in major motion pictures. Yeah, Haley Mills, she was cute. I remember watching Pollyanna. She was a cute kid. And she just kind of faded from the scene. This is where we got to the cemetery up here. Let me turn around. She was, she was like that. At my time growing up. Now we'll look at the other houses in the other direction here. Your affair with O. Henry has ended, but it was a happy affair. Well, it's, it's an interesting town. That's for damn sure. I never feel bored here. It's peaceful. And in Halloween, everybody in the city brings their kids over here. You've seen me go live here before. Yeah, Montecito Avenue, yes. It's, that's where Charles Schultz lived up there. Till his house burned down in the Great Santa Rosa fire. And his wife had to flee in the night at 3 a.m. in the morning. Good thing they had all of his shit. Oh, yeah, I see film crews in town. How beautiful that little fence is there. Just a, it's it's not ostentatious. It's just pretty. Look at this big ass George in here. Do 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 do. La di di di, lu du du du, la di du 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 du. Um, um. Here's another big Georgian with huge columns. These are like uh, forty foot columns here out front. People are really lucky they got a double lot here. Yeah, it's an amazing home, Craig. And everybody brings their kids for trick-or-treating because the, the idea is everybody gives out expensive candy. No cheap shit. This is, uh, this is the corner here. This is the house from Alfred Hitchcock's 1943 or 44 thriller Shadow of a Doubt here. 1910 Victorian. That was with Joseph Cotton and Teresa Wright. I always crushed on Teresa Wright, the ultimate girl next door. That's the house over there from with from All My Sons with Edward G. Robinson and Burt Lancaster. And this was the house from Scream where the police chief lived. Now houses rarely change hands here. That's the Scream house. You see Nevy Campbell around town. Yeah, this town's very friendly for uh, 
filming and production. They have a very big uh, office that works with uh, works with the movie studios. Yeah, I'm I am extremely rich in friendship, and you're right. And you can't put a price on that. I agree. The money is nice. The support I get is good. But if you think I set my watch for the amount of money that I haul in. It's whether I'm having a good time and hanging out with people. This is a big ass Dutch colonial right here. I don't know. This is a craftsman style. That's a hell of a heavy looking house there. I am very rich in front. I am very blessed. That's the famed McDonald. Is it Avenue? McDonald Ave. McDonald Avenue. Yeah. Yeah, the Amityville Horror House is good. There's been a lot of movies filmed on Long Island. You've got Ina Garten out there, Craig. Come on, man. Shit, you got the diva herself out there. You have a national treasure. A friggin' national treasure. Ugh. Trying to trigger that algorithm today. A national treasure. Yeah, that's good, Barry. You know, there's a lot to be said for a condo. Close the door, walk away. And don't worry about shit. Let me tell you, many's the time I've been jealous of people that uh, have a condo and just split. Good for you. No, I mean, I've been experimenting, putting t different twists on the same video, you know, and trying to determine what... Uh, what drives TikTok and stuff. It's been very interesting. It's been very enlightening. Cheryl, hello. Yeah, they let you have your own little garden. That's really, that's good. Some people get pissed at me because I've never developed the back of the property. Well, there's only so many hours in a day. You know, what am I, a freaking full-time farmer? It's like, really? Yeah, the rancho is on, uh, the land is exceptionally fertile because nothing's grown back there for decades. When I first moved there, there were a few artichoke plants. That was about it. Yeah, my house is small, the land is big. No, I don't want to sell it, I want to keep the buffer. It's really the last piece of undeveloped land in the whole uh, heart of downtown, which I, I'm right in the center of the city. And uh, I like the buffer. The city wants to snatch the uh, land for development. Yeah, I think there's still probably a few cars buried back there. <clears throat> All right, we're coming down to the main part of 4th Street. Let's see if we see. Let's not hit Skater Boy here. Let's see, nothing going on at the Russian River. Bill Gates and his girlfriend there. Uh -oh. Hello, Jody. Yeah, if anything, I think the property is undervalued. Hey, Wade, if you have to move into a, a townhouse across from the damn um, Towers of Doom, and that's $550,000. 
really? You get no land to your own. You don't even get a lot line. And I've got a place with a half an acre. Are you kidding me? Hello, Mizzle. How are you? Hey, Readers. Haven't seen you in a while. Good to see you. Let's see. Where the hell am I going? I don't need to turn. I'm trying to see what's going on. Oh, it's really going to have a dense fog tonight. Low marine layer. Hey, BP. How are you? Looks like the belly's doing pretty good tonight. Somebody's singing out there. Yeah, so I'm going to take care of Diane. Excellent to see you. Hope everything is going okay. Watch out for these people on bikes if they're turning or not. Do do do. One degrees. I'm a white girl from Wisconsin. Sounds like a hit song. Dun dun do 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 do. Don't throw your love at on me, homie. If you do, then I think that maybe I might be. Take my heart, my soul, my money, but don't leave me here drowning in my tears. Hamilton, Joe, Frank, and Reynolds. Do, 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 do. I think you've done well for you. I've done okay for myself. You know, it ain't ritzy. I'm not a fancy person. I'm a very earthy person, so it doesn't really matter. I don't need fancy bullshit in my life. Just simple, sturdy. That's all I care about. Simple, good duty. I don't need a lot of fancy bullshit in my life. Do, 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 do. The legendary 9th Street.
I'm a beer kind of girl. I'm a beer kind of girl. Beer kind of girl. Do 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 Yeah, La Jolla is magnificent. You think? I'm not sure. They tell you you can eat dandelions. My luck, I'll eat one that rat pissed on and that'll be it, right? Get some kind of hunted disease. Take them dogs out for a chooch. I guess that's a parking lot behind here. I guess that's enough parking for everybody. Pullman Building, opening spring 2022. Get on the list. Good to detoxify the liver. Hey, Jerry. Yeah, La Jolla is a beautiful place. Craig, did you ever see the La Jolla Women's Bridge Club down there overlooking the ocean? Nice, beautiful, well manicured lawn, amazing looking place. They're like, yeah, we've had this since the 1920s. We play once a month. It's like, holy shit. Oh, do, 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 do. Used to make dandelion wine. ever been to Carmel, uh, Craig, but there's just so many towns up and down coastal California that are just spectacular. San Luis Obispo, and you get down to Solvang, it's a little more inland, but it's all beautiful. Down in Ventura County there. Prickly part of the cactus growing in the wild, that's cool. Nothing going on down here these days. Yeah, you can make a you can make a jelly out of the uh, cactus too. People make a jelly out of the thing. Obispo is Spanish for bishop. Yeah, they call it slow. People that live there call it slow. They know you're not a local when you say San Luis. Locals call it slow. It was a hell of a town. They was really popping, man. Uh, they had uh, bands outside. You guys can see my videos on the Very cool. But hideously expensive down there. Hideously expensive. Do, 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 do. Comes another skater boy. You wouldn't even want to know what property costs in Carmel. You can't even put a number on your house. No house numbers. No high heels. 
Clint Eastwood's place down there. If you guys haven't seen the video of when I went to see Clint Eastwood's ranch. Also the uh, Carmel Mission where Father Unipero Sarah is buried. Yeah, it's still operating, but it's, it's more like daytime. Some nights they'll have something once in a while. Still operating. It's nice to see Sean last night. Do, 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 do. Yeah, thank you, Moose Knuckle. You guys should look at that whole playlist of the uh, Pacific Coast Highway Adventure. It's just amazing, that just uh, spectacular views when you're driving down. I didn't like Monterey, it's too honky tonk. Kissable lips. Ooh, wait. And the people were nice in Carmel, too. They weren't like, get the fuck out of my hood, you know? They were nice. Living through you. Where in the hell did they, where in the hell did the nuts go? Shit, did I drop it in the car? Hold on a minute, guys. beer without nuts, really? Where would I be without my nuts? Really? Beer nuts. And these nuts. These nuts. It only took a year till somebody told me how to open the bag. These nuts. Beautiful down there. Let's see what's going on on B Street tonight. Yeah, that's when we did a live stream in San Luis Obispo. And that was a fun night. Remember the wall of the alley of gum? A beautiful mission there. That's where Kyle Polly is. What a night. The weather's going to get better when uh, Diane comes. 
Yeah, the deer were, uh, well, you know, I'm glad you were amused, Cheryl. It was a very dangerous situation. One of those nights where I'm glad I was able to get out in one piece. Let's face it, you could be potentially ripped to shreds down there. That was, um, well... Which one? There was a whole trip. There's a whole, there's a, Nino, there's a playlist called My Pacific Coast Adventure, which was from Monterey South all the way to Ventura County. And I boondocked the whole time. glad you prayed for me. Hey Golden State, sorry about last night when you get ACDC that's going to ban it on the replay. It's going to take me 12 hours to get it fixed. I don't even know if last night's playable yet. Somebody tells me I'll take you along. I dare not go riding the trains by myself. I definitely want to go train hopping though. Hopping on the Pacific Coast High, we know. Up through the Sierras. Hey, Robert. Love peanuts at night, honey roasted, delicious. I have to cut them out though when Diane leaves. I think peanuts are very healthy. They're a good snack. Four grams of fiber. So they only have 12 grams of carbs, but you remove the four grams of fiber and you get a net of eight carbs, which is very low. 30% of your magnesium, 35% of your copper, 25% of your vitamin E. 45% of your niacin, 
40 percent of your manganese this is important shit <clears throat> a lot of train trips are gonna make you anywhere down there. yeah be cool world certainly got crazy gas though the last few years upended a lot of plans I had yeah I reached out to some people I don't want to go alone the first time you need to have a somebody that's going to show you the rope you know first time you get a misdemeanor next time you get a felony so try to avoid that first time bathroom to last so it'll be sparkling tomorrow nice and fresh and clean all the sheets are laundered the rest of the house is clean really nice she'll be in the garden suite congratulations one year no oh well thank you jody oh thank you candy i don't know about beautiful but <laughs> But thank you, sweetie. Always good to see you. You got to get... I know I need to get on Amtrak. I do. I need to get a 30-day um, rail pass. But that only, that only gets you 10 sections. So you got to be... You got to really think about how you're going to do shit. Because I'm more interested in some of the smaller towns and things. And you got to think of how you're going to get it done. Like, I like the Empire Builder goes up north across, uh, like, Washington State and Montana and uh, Minnesota into Chicago. The Empire Builder. And I'm sure I'll be doing it in the van. Yeah, I got to go on the smart train. You're right about that. They want to extend the line over to where Joe D and Janet live over around, uh, over in Solano County over there. They want to run the line over there. So theoretically, they could pick me up a few miles from their home. Mm -hmm. Yeah, excellent experiences on Amtrak. But there's no experience like the rosy experience on Amtrak, right? <clears throat> Next stop, Baldy Mo. All off for Baldy Mo. Next stop, Pennsylvania Station, Baltimore. <clears throat> You see me in a little sleeper. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> Reposted peanuts in the shell. Anyway, now I love peanuts. Since I went on keto light, my digestive system has been running like a well oiled machine. On too many starches before carbs, they just they bind you up. Roasted peanuts in the show, yes, 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 yes. Circus peanuts, too expensive to get a sleeper. I have no idea. I'm used to sleeping in a recliner, right? So I can just lay back. Me. 
saying, hey Ron, how you doing? See where you grew up, your schools, etc. Uh, next trip into Baltimore, we'll go back to PS 233, right? And high school in the hood. What a town, man, Baltimore. I've done Mount Vernon, Fells Point, Little Italy. There's a lot of stuff out there, Ron. I'll show you where I lived after I was married across from Nancy D'Alessandro's and uh, friggin' uh, Nancy Pelosi's house there in Baltimore. She's still got a Balmer accent. You should come out with a recliner for your next merch. Uh, who's going to buy a recliner? Mm -mm -mm. I've been way behind on merch. Just not enough hours in a day. I mean, um, uh, shit. Uh, Scarlet. Gone with the kale. She developed all my business cards. I still have printed out the sons of bitches. Be like my pillow. Yeah, recliner. Price of a recliner is a little more different than a pillow. Mm -hmm. Ah. That my pillow guy, damn, he got in all kinds of freaking trouble, didn't he? I need to take my van so I can explore places. Get a my pillow guy. It's chilly tonight. I don't know what the temperature is right now. I don't know. May. I have not been able to trick the algorithm today. Did you ever find out who did the characters? I never did. Mike Lindell was a very story rags for a day to my friend. Yeah, I, I like that show. I never did find out. Hi, Jen. You. Uh, trip down to PEI. She went by train. That's nice. These things are expensive, but these things use a lot of gas. These towers of power. Whiskey tips. What in the hell is that? The fourth dimension. Got Pride Week coming up. Pride movie night. 
happy hour parade. So we got to we got to hit that uh, Saturday, June fourth parade at 11 a.m. Pride parade. June fifth. What is this? Down at the uh, pink pool party. Well, I don't know. John Reed was the hero of that. I don't think he was a Mormon. His daughter Patty Reed and Virginia Reed, their dolls sit up in the museum up there at Lake Tahoe. Pardon me. Well, you know what they say, uh, I watch those with get up and go, got up and went. <laughs> I don't know, Joey D. Nancy Pelosi's a long way from her roots. And a little, uh, little row house in Little Italy playing bocce ball and going to St. Leo's Church. Now the bishop's like, how can you be uh, pro-choice and call yourself a Catholic? Oh. Right, here we go. Now, he made several trips back and forth to save people. Brought supplies and from Sutter Fort and he was really the hero. George Donner died of an infection changing a wagon wheel. Gangrene. They ate his wife, Thames or Dan Dan uh, Donner. They ate her. There was some crazy ass German guy that was eating people. They found him, he was like half out of his mind. Then you had the Murphy cabin. I don't think the Murphys were uh, Mormon. I don't know how I watch. I've just, I've never dug in that deep except just the tragedy of the Two lessons I learned, don't waste time, get there fast, and don't take shortcuts. All right, that's what, uh, that's what Virginia Reed said, the two takeaways. Don't take no shortcut, and don't waste time. like I did in Baltimore with the, the Democrat Party as most big cities has a hammer lock on um, politics. It's the blue machine. Yeah, it's, a, it's a big city that's controlled by machine politics. So She got there because her father was the mayor of Baltimore and her
that whole cabal was a noisy crew down there on South Exeter Street where I lived for a while in Little Italy. Like I said, Joe, I've had a very interesting life. I've been across a lot of people. I know where their roots come from. You hear Nancy Pelosi talk. You can hear that Balmer accent all the way. Her and that uh, Senator Barbara Mikulski before she retired, she was real Balmer. And I want to tell you on behalf of the people of Baltimore, this will not stand. Could you stand up, Ms. McCauley, Senator McCauley? I am standing. Like <laughs> four feet, two inches tall or something. Hey, Sharon. I guess we'll start putting up some decorations when uh, Diane comes. I don't know, Subliminal, do you ever take a break from trolling? I guess that would be a more apropos question. I always love it when people get in up, up in other people's business. Just another nosy person, Jen Jen. First time on the channel, never been seen before. Zero content, new channel. tonight. Hey Becky, how you doing? Yeah, crickets. You'll never get a response from him. Just bounce him out. We know what he's here for, he or she. Oh, let's see if we got mail today. I gotta get these weeds out of the hedge. I pulled a few today. I got my watering system. You can see how the hedge is doing. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Got that. It's a lot of shit today. Look at that beautiful lawn coming along. All done by hand. Seeded lawn. Saved me a lot of money. Nice the place looks. Yeah, temporarily I got all my jars and canning shit here. I figured that out. How nice. All cleaned up, ready to go. I got a vintage audio video coming tomorrow. This kitchen's all clean. Oh, that's all I ever get is bills. Bills, bills, bills. Mm -hmm. ah. All I ever get. 
Round of COVID test kits. Yeah. Don't forget you can order them for free. You get eight kits now. Let's see. I don't know what the hell this is. Someone's giving me something for free. I'm taking it. There's two from the same. We're coming up the longest days of the year. Crap. National debt relief. Crap. 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 Crap, crap, crap. crap. I got my uh, bread started for tomorrow. The dough is in the uh, fridge. Get a little bit of seasoning for nice bread tomorrow. Let me. Um, yeah, man, so I got. Uh, what do I got? Uh, four test kits here. So that's cool. It's always junk or bills for me. No fan mail from a flounder. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Okay, let's check Diane's garden suite here. See how that looks. Check stations at the B and B. They're looking pretty damn good. There it is. There's the garden suite. Not bad. Cleaned up. This is the quiet port. Always put the guests in the quiet place. Can't hear anything back here. It's nice. The garden suite. The garden suite. Yes. Joy. That's it. That's it. Nicole. Do 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 do. Cry a little. Not a done and laugh a little. That's the glory of. That's the glory of. You got to laugh a little. Cry a little. Look at that, I got that dough in there, cooling off tonight. Yeah, baby. You got to retard the rise. I guess I have to bring out a fresh garlic tonight. Peace train, holy roller. Night on the peace train. Ay, 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 Got an onion for tonight. Fairy tales can come true. They can happen to you if you're young at home. And it's rich. And da -da -do -do. If you've got ground cumin, do. Do do do. We got to open up a new garlic. We got the cayenne. Uh, OK, 
Okay, we got the cumin, the chili powder, the cayenne, pepper. What else we need here? We need to open up a garlic. I love this shit. I love these garlics that get refrigerated after opening. I hate to mess with garlic. This stuff has been a lifesaver. Spice Select. Minced garlic. Uh, I don't even want to know the country of origin. Product of China by Gel Spice of Bayonne, New Jersey. Ooh. Well, I already speak Chinese, so I should be good to go, right? All right. Well, hey, John Boy. While we still got some light, let's go tour the rancho a little bit here tonight. See what's going on. Bird's been sleeping all day. There's, of course, this bankster. Gone tonight. Look at my tomato plants are really robusto. They're doing good. There's birds sleeping. We're going to have some hack job chili. Something simple tonight. It's going to be cool. But definitely got tomatoes on. We got little tomatoes here. And then uh, Catherine sent me this sluggo. So I don't have the uh, earwigs eating the uh, eggplant anymore. Look at what they were doing down here. Now look at it. That got... That got finish those little bastards look I got my first eggplant flower there so I got definitely got tomatoes on and these things get constant moisture so they're happy I just this birds processing plant here it's fucking weed son of a bitch I hate this goddamn bitch. I got special trash kick pickup coming. I have two mowers to put out on the 15th. I got another well leak I got to solve here. Look at the plums, how nice they're doing. I got to get rid of this tree because this is where I want to put my almond and pistachios in here. I hate that tree. Tickle the buds, huh? Sour. Washington Naval Orange. Provita orange. Our second plum tree. Elephant heart plums. Here's how I got the peach tree plum propped up. It's got so damn many tree peaches it'll fall down. Thing is sick with peaches. It's my beautiful Valencia orange. Sick with peaches. My wonderful cactus. Had the first cherry harvest this year. I 
No, I don't want mulberry. This is a non fruiting mulberry tree. It's a pain in the ass. It's really cutting into the productivity. This mower's gonna go. Go check the apple tree. Orange and lemon. Palestine orange. Robertson Naval varieties you guys never heard of. Looks like we're gonna have a good apple harvest. Gravenstein apples. That's gonna be good. This is why the city can't snatch this property because I have... This is under agricultural use so they can't touch it. Otherwise they would have snatched this a long time ago. Yeah, we're looking good. It's going to be a big, productive place back here. Canning operations. Big canning with the peaches, yeah. Here's the fig tree. There's my old moonshine barrels. Look at that. Wow, memories. Yeah, gala apples are good. I don't think we have any figs right now. Figs are a double cropper. They'll produce two crops in a year. But, uh, didn't, I don't like figs. I don't like this fig tree. This, this thing's got to be cut. It's all overhanging here. See, figs are just unruly. Look at this thing. Pain in the ass. My fence is still standing. That's a miracle. Our safety line. These people pay twenty six hundred a month for this rental. A snake hole. No, done a lot to just keep this baby in. This baby tips over. G-Shack. It's one of the tree, many trees I had dropped on the property here. Good thing the sun sets that way so it keeps the tree mainly growing in that direction. But this, uh... This mulberry tree is a pain in the ass. So far overshadows which could be productive there. So I keep saying, oh, wait till nobody's working and the guy's got no work and they'll do it for a song. This is a full half acre all together. It's a length of a football field long and half a football field wide. About a football field wide and a football field long. I've managed to keep that fence going for quite a while. <sighs> yeah, it is now, Scotty. I'll tell you what, it's very rare to have a piece of land like that. If I ever sold this, they would... If you settled at 10 a.m. in the morning with settlement day, by 1 o'clock they would have bulldozers here with roll-off dumpsters. 
they would start out here at the front and they would just bulldoze the whole property and put up a 25, 30 unit apartment building here. That would be the end of the rancho. And it would be like every other shithole spot in this neighborhood. Yeah, I don't have bees. I get natural bees that come around here, honey bees a lot. I've never had any pollination problems here, kit and cat. I don't use any insecticides or sprays that could be damaging to bees. Yeah, the pack and stack housing. You don't give a shit here. The only thing that saves that property from being taken by the city is that it's got an apple tree and a fig tree on the back. So they can't do it. They can't do shit. The city never saw a developer and didn't like that's for damn sure.
I love this 830 show light out. Yes, the Tale of Doom. So how's everybody doing tonight? Oh, I gotta get the battery pack. Oh. Obviously, I won't be on a Tuesday night taco ride this week. Okay, we're plugged in. Hey Rick, how are you doing? Yeah, I love it. it stays lighter later. I love that. It gets a little rugged 4 30 p.m. in December. It gets a little yeah, let's get that thumbs up tonight. Show a little love for your hostess here. Oh, do do do. So I get the side chat on. A lot of people lost their accounts. A lot of people wrote me. I don't know what a YouTube is doing. Like, you know, my I lost my original account. You'll get it back. Don't worry. I don't know what the hell they're doing. Tomorrow I've got a. Um, Vintage audio listening experience coming up in the morning. I've had a lot of demand for that. Partially blocked. Is that son of a bitch still on there? Hold on a minute. Let's see if last night partially blocked where? Blocked in some countries or regions. Last night should be watchable. See the. Uh, out in some countries. I think it finally removed the full block. Yes. Yeah, we removed the ACDC. has been removed. Video cannot be seen or monetized. Love is all around. Yeah, from wet, wet, wet. That's another one that you can't play. So we need to add wet, wet, wet. Here. Hey, how you doing? Uh, gone with the kale. How you doing, beautiful? Always an honor to see you. Thumbs up are appreciated if you're coming in. Let's ram that thumbs up. I'm looking at my studio creator because I had to... I got up this morning and I took steps to unblock last night's chat. We had um, ACDC which is a no-go on YouTube, so had to have that muted. And there's Kale. Yeah, let's hit that thumbs up button. We've been kind of under 200. I might have to change, which my battery level? I'm still 89%, but I have one dot left here. Uh, hey Jeffrey, how are you? Jeffrey Perez, guaranteed to always put a smile on my face. Hey Slugbo. Hello Catherine. I was just showing people the uh, how good the Sluggo worked. Uh, the other one was died. Yeah, he died of a heart attack. We, uh, for the first time in my lifetime, uh, Flan, there was cowardice in a police department, so... Hope to see some mountains. Yeah, the mountains in the west. If you think the Appalachians are mountains, wait till you get out of the west. Wait till you're riding down I-5 from Portland and you see uh, Mount Shasta or something up there. Ooh, with its own weather system up top. BC's great. It was cowardice winter storm. <clears throat> And I, well, that's my opinion. It was cowardice. And the governor of Texas shares my opinion. It's like Burger King here. You can have it your way, and I'll have it my way. That's it. Yeah, Mount Rainier is spectacular when you drive down. And you see that up there? And also, um, Mount Shasta is amazing. 
That's great. I have size channel and I'm in blossoms. Yeah, that's work good. Uh, it got rid of the earwigs. They've been the bane of this place in the hotbed for USO and ancient native feather. It's a hell of a weird looking place, kid and cat. I had a really. Yeah, I was in uh, July, August or something. I had a really weird feeling in my gut when I rode by Shasta because it was cloudy and threatening up there and big dark clouds were looming. Yeah, big medicine, yeah. Yeah, that's cool, Slugbo. You'll love it. Uh, but I felt, if I felt, I felt Mount Shasta was very eerie. Through the mountains, yeah, Thomas, that's it. I felt very eerie. You can see I captured some video and on the way down. Very weird. Just, it was very unsettling mentally. I don't know how to put it. I mean, you have one mountain that just looms up out of the middle of nowhere. It's just weird. You know what, Catherine? It looked like a damn portal. You can go up around the first four or five thousand feet, look normal, sunny. You can see my videos. And then above that, there's like fog. And then above that, dark, ominous clouds. And you can see like lightning flashing up there. What the hell? I've been over 13,500 feet at uh, Loveland Pass. I never saw that. Weird. I'm gonna crash. I have a typing delay. Oh no! I hope not, babe. Chop with a bomb in school. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Winter storm. <laughs> Ain't nobody gonna drop a bomb. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a huge Trump fan, but I'm not a huge anti. I'm just saying. I don't think that would have been done. Might have been going, going to still live in the area. Yeah. It's a weird looking place, Catherine. It was weird going over Lake Shasta with all the dry down below. That was weird, too. That was friggin' weird. really strange well if you believe in angels you have to believe in evil too it's two sides of the same coin I hate to say it but that's the reality oh, let me see something I mean, I don't know how the word, you know, everybody believes in angels and all that stuff. It is, is, you, think the, you don't think this forces of evil stalk the land? Great tales of the area. Yeah, that's cool. With all the weird shit going on these days. I don't know what we're gonna have. Might go shopping tomorrow night, just right off the bat. I don't know. I'll just see what shape Diane comes into town uh, tomorrow. Figure out what we're gonna do. Uh, I know the products in uh, the grocery outlet aren't gonna cut it right now. They're not gonna. The selection of stuff is not gonna cut it. So that's not gonna work. Oh, I'm, 
I'm making bread and spaghetti or linguine tomorrow. Now, that's right. We're using the rails, rayos or whatever they call it. Using that tomorrow night. I got my bread uh, fermenting. Always start your bread the night before. Make a poolish. If you want to go to this canyon, did Shelly? Whoa, spirits are running wild. I'm telling you, Catherine, I came down past. This is the dead of summer. I came down past Mount Shasta, and it's like, whoa, this is very. Uh, I mean, this thing just looms up out of nowhere. It's like there's nothing else around it. And you look up there, and it's got its own weather up top. Like, what the hell? You have Little Shasta and Big Shasta, right? It was weirder than hell. <sighs> so I definitely had a weird, weird uh, feeling. Volcano. Well, there's definitely some upthrust that occurred there, uh, Thunderbird. Most of it is due to, you know, volcanic upthrust. You could have ravioli, yeah, that Skinwalker Ranch has a lot of strange happenings, yeah. You have to, for some strange reason, uh, California has a has an overload of weird shit out here. Weird people, weird, I don't want to say weird religions because that's insulting, but just, you know, just all kinds of weird shit. Shasta is very ominous. I don't find any beauty of it. I find it very scary. Middle of summer, the thing shrouded in thunder clouds. And, uh, but the whole... You know, I grew up on the East Coast, there's not a lot of weird stuff, but you come out West and... Whoo! Whoo! I'm missing in Yosemite then. Isn't that weird, Kit and Cat? You go to Yosemite and you just disappear? I mean, where the hell did they go? I'm very relaxed tonight, Flan. I don't like that stuff, Nicole. You're down in the desert, you get good visibility for 10 miles, 20 miles. You come up here and it's just weird shit. People sacrificing people. I mean, it's just idiots like Charles Manson. Just something that basically... Uh, yeah, I do have a plan to go. Hey, Corey, how are you? So fucking. Mm, how you doing? How are you and Doug and the boys doing? There's a success story. I always tell people, hey, where's Corey? We're so fucking. I say, like, the less you see her, the more successful. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. We're all good. That's awesome. She really hit stride. I was planning to visit Mount St. Helens the day when I was driving. Unexpected business. Wow. Yep, I know you're busy, Corey. There are actual real predators in there. Wow, I very much like them. You know, it's weird down in Yosemite, Kit and Cat, because it's like, isn't it like the most visited uh, national park or something? Uh, and it's just like, how do people end up missing? It's like they get snatched off the face of the earth. I don't know. She was just up ahead around the corner. And then we came around the corner. I thought she was way ahead. No. Nope. You didn't pass her? Nope. Well, the trail ends. She got to be. You got to have passed her. You know, so many a bear walk through the camp. Yeah, they're probably pretty tame, right? I did bang her chest and I got four legs. <laughs> That's all right, honey. You gotta reestablish your dominance again. <laughs> yeah, I guess people don't pay attention. Uh, 
Don't worry, you keep at it, Cor. You'll reestablish your your dominance there. She went with the fairies. I don't know. I I just I'm sad to say I have zero interest. Yeah, there you go. You're back and reestablished, and that's it. Look up national park disappeared. You'll be made. Yeah, it's another reason I just have no interest in in national parks and. I'm not going to bring the same content at every, oh, this is Bridal Falls. Oh, beautiful, you know, and it ain't, uh, no interest to me. All right. This is Half Dome, okay. Like Clark Griswold, yep. Yep. It's not my dealio. What the hell's got music? Look at how quiet it is tonight. Hardly any traffic. Wow. Yeah, a lot of content and disappearances. We had the uh, hitchhiker murders out here in Sonoma County that uh, they thought it was a Zodiac killer. It's about how all the missing our clusters around national parks. Um, I wonder if they just I wonder, Nicole, if they just got consumed by animals and just uh, slipped off the side of a hill and just down a deep ravine and nobody's gone down there. Yep. <laughs> People running out of money to buy gas, huh? It's funny. Uh. The most I'll camp is in the back of my damn van. You're going to have to rip the metal off to get inside. Yeah, Nicole's like, Sh $5 from Beach Ball. Thank you for your support. Beach Ball 2022 tipped $5 through Super Chat. Thank you, Beach Ball. Welcome back, Kale. Do you have any interest in haunted locations? <coughs> Not really. You know, I don't want to get spooked. There are many like these that have been trained to know the animal. A small portion of people really do vanish in the thin air and I can't explain. It's weird. They send out dogs in search part. Nothing ever shows up in some cases. The dogs stand out. Uh, hey, Susan. Yeah, Bisbee's cool. That used to be a very big copper place down there. I'd love to see Bisbee. Uh, they, if nothing else, it steps with 400 steps and shit. I mean, it's a hell of a weird layout of the town, too. <laughs> yeah, maybe so, Buttercup, who they went to the park with. I don't know. I mean, just weird shit seems to happen. And the sad part is you got to pay money. <laughs> Did you know the National Park is used to maintain a list of people go missing? It's true. You, you ask who went and they feign ignorance. Look it up. Huh. Oh, that's cool. Ninth Elements full time. That's cool. Good evening, EJ. Uh, there was a cougar attack in Western Washington this morning. I am gross. Now, I, I worry about going to the cemetery here because of mountain lions. You know, you go through and a mountain lion slobbered right and it sees you. Oh, yeah, that's kind of a that's kind of a fat looking little dumpling. Right? And you're gone by that point. You're done. You're toast. You see that thing on the trail? They had that one video. That mountain lion was walking after the guy for miles. The hiker. I'm like, oh shit. You get, took every fiber of the guy's being not to run. And trigger the, you know, catch response. Holy shit. You think I need that? Grieving. Oh, that's terrible, Kale. Bisbee. Yeah, I've heard a lot of cool stuff about Bisbee. I mean, Arizona's got some cool shit down there. For, for a young state, you know, 
beyond Alaska and Hawaii, that was the 47th state. So it's a very young state. Yeah, he was walking backwards too, and it, it just, he figured he was going to die. So you got there, this thing slobbering, watching you, you're gone. You don't get a second chance. So, you know, I don't, I don't want to be out in nature. I don't, I don't, I, I'm scared shitless of nature. You walking along and some mountain lion jumps off of a branch above you, you're gone. I worry about getting bites by mosquitoes. Well, you could be like Mike living free, getting consumed by no seams and being driven into your RV 24 7. I need my nice nine millimeter. Yeah, Elmer. Oh, thank you, uh, Kale. It's an it's an all black day, right? It's been pretty chilly. We went from 100 to 50 to 48 degrees. We got that Diane coming tomorrow. Love it. Yeah, I'm all championed out. <laughs> I love my champion deer. Uh, I love champion. My tiger mount and cougar mount gone with the kale. Yeah, these uh, these animals will just rip you to shreds. And, uh, you know, the sad thing is they might take one or two bites and that's it. It's like you're not real tasty. You know, you might be a bony bitch or something. And then it's like, well, yeah, bipolar weather. There's still some very heavy marine layer cloud. You know, it was actually raining a little bit last night. Just sprinkling while we were out here. Watch your dog because uh, some uh, eagles will come along and pick up a dog. I spent a lot of time hiking and camping the Cascade and heard what sound like Sasquatch in Central Oregon once in a while. Yeah, she might do Palm Springs, huh? My problem with minor surgery coming up, things are very up in the air about what I'm going to do, or feel like doing or not do. So, I know from the 22nd to the 4th of July, my ass is right here. So, before that, I don't know. After that, I anticipate being on the road. Too much fat and bone, baby. Yeah, I'm fine, Kale. Just to staple my rib and do a, a revision bikini talk a little bit. <clears throat> Both of my doctors are in the same group, so it works out perfectly. Lions, tigers, and bears. I got to keep the TikTok hot, right? I really enjoy summer in Vegas. <clears throat> Perm. Ooh la la. <laughs> Have you been, Scarlet, doing okay? I like to mess around with the algorithm a bit. He's doing good. 
Like I put up the same shit like 50 times, you know, with different music and shit. It's fun. <laughs> Always dicking with the algorithm. The old slice and dice. Ye old slice and dice. Good. Thank you. Yeah, I love you, honey. You know that. You're one hot tomato. All right, I'm going to get some dinner going. Do, 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 do. I still got one, one dot of juice there. And I think we should be at 92%, so we're good. Got to get this done before Janet comes out and complains. Shit, you think these you think these people pay my bills or something? Oh, 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 oh. Get that elevated a bit. Bear might bury you alive in a shelter. Yeah, I don't even want to think about a bear. I would probably just hope I die of a heart attack on the spot. Then you can eat me, I don't really care. I hope you choke on my ass. I hope you choke on my ass. Here's some nice garlic. Oh, there we go. I'm never gonna mess with garlic. Do 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 do. Chopping up garlic, what a drag. Damn that dog. The only noise on a beautiful night tonight. Once the hood, always the hood. Peace train, holy roller, night on the peace train. I don't do kidney, uh, not when I'm on keto. Hey, Marcio. Be scared. Moose, should, you should be scared of moose. Moose, buffalo. I mean, I wouldn't know. I'd go up and try to pet a buffalo, and you're, you're, oh, well, you know, they were extinct, so they must be dumb or something. And you get your ass torn off and stampeded. And, right? Oh, I thought they were just, you could just go up and shoot them and eat them, right? No, man, it took a lot to bring down a buffalo. Fucking Indians died bringing them down. Okay, dude, well, you learn something new every day, right? Nice buffalo, especially the Asian tourists that come over. I want to get a picture with a buffalo, really? There you go. Or I want to stand on the edge of the Grand Canyon and do a selfie. Whoa! Hello. You say good hello, I say goodbye. Kind of sad. Let's get to tomatoes and... We 
got to use up this tomato sauce anyway. We've had in there. Every someone so yeah, somebody gets chased by a buffalo or stampeded or eaten by a buffalo or something. That's why I'm smarter. I stay away from that shit. I got the sense not to go near Wobbly. Even though I think Buffalo are pretty cool, right? But still... Believe Kitchen Stadium. December, January, February, March, April. Six months still going strong. This shitty thing. The buffalo have poor eyesight. Uh, yeah, I don't want to try to hunt down a buffalo, right? I couldn't even imagine trying to bring one down with a bow and arrow. I I thought you could just walk up to him and ding. I never knew that things could freaking kill you. But I'm not really much of an outdoor. I'm not really the dances with wolves kind of person. Slaughtered by Emily the Reed and it wasn't for their meat. Wow. So they must be like mean as hell or something. They were facing extinction, but now I think there's like a zillion of them, right? Like the eagles, there's like a million eagles. Man, but if you touch a feather on an eagle's balls, you're like in jail for like life or something. But the eagle ran off with my dog, don't matter. He looked at that eagle sideways. We're sending him to jail. Really? Really? Oh, thank you, Apple. Hi, Janet, how you doing? just talking, Janet, if you had any buffalo encounters or anything. I thought buffalo, you just walked up and hit them on the head and they just fell over and that was it. Who knew? Jeez. 
train, holy roller, not on the peak train. E I E I E I. Do 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 do. Everybody likes how I measure spices. When you're gifted, you're gifted. Do 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 do. Everything's by eye. Do 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 do. La da 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 do 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 do. That's the glory of cayenne pepper today. Oh, too hot. Way too hot. That's better. Mm. Oh, I love that initial blast of that cumin and chili. Oh, that is so good. So good. Don't care nothing about no freaking buffalo. I don't ever seen a buffalo in my life, and I hope I never do. It's gonna be problematic. And I'm gonna be running for my life. I just as soon pass from the experience. Like these Taiwanese tours. Take a picture of me with the buffalo. Really? How'd that work out for you? It's like, how do you tell the people back home you're an idiot? All right. I thought buffalo were very sweet. We did not know. These buffalo were mean. Hey, P. Carver. They were mean. They had the a uh, pea brain. No, you had the pea. You had the pea brain. <laughs> uh, let's get an initial. Mm. Right on point. Perfect. Perfecto, man. Perfecto. Wild animals can be extremely mean. They're not to be like your pets. It's not like, oh, hey, Mom, can I have a buffalo? Really? <sighs> Love that trash can. I can't believe this gas cylinder is still going. Mm -hmm. That's perfection. Hmm. Yeah, you had that uh, Rhode Island Red. You're more concerned about ending by human. Well, that's a good, that's a right thing to be concerned about, Golden State. Nobody can fault you for that. <coughs> that's a legitimate concern, especially the neighborhood I live. Is are exceedingly high. I mean, for sure the chances are high here. You guys know that's a natural fact. <clears throat> I need disc brakes. Disc brakes are good. You don't really only need disc brakes in the front unless you're a high performance vehicle. 
disc brakes in the back are overkill. Low and slow. We got our backup gas here. So Janet, how was your Saturday? Okay. Good night, Nino. Good to see you. Thank you. Take care. Do 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 do. Hello, Cheryl S. Oh wow, watching the river cats, cool. Buffalo are very frightening to me. <laughs> Buffalo look like they're in a perpetual bad mood. Gonna let that really go tonight. Take its time. Come together. I prefer buffalo. I don't know. When one's trampling you, you might not feel the same way. You could be an absolute goner, Cheryl. I mean, like, what happened to your summer vacation? Well. I died. That was it. Ugh. Actually, there was still plenty of gas in the uh Barbecue grill still going strong after the rebuild. Do you want to become a pair of boots? I don't want to be a part of a pair of boots or anything. Don't mess with them, Cheryl. Hey, Susie. I'm just telling you, as a matter of course, Cheryl, you may not want to be messing around with buffalo. They don't know, right, if you're being good or not. They will just put a hoof up your ass and that's it. They'll split you where the good Lord split you. Man, I just cannot get this son of a bitch to trigger tonight. <sighs> yeah, who wants to be stomped? Yeah, I like buffalo wings. I've been to the place where they originated in Buffalo, New York. Actually, I didn't. They say they originated in the Anchor Bar. But I went to Duff's original, which was delicious. Duff's original, which was the best wings I ever had in my life. Home run river cats. Who were they playing, Janet? Uh. Salt Lake City Bees. I've never seen a buffalo in my life. 
I've seen it on a coin, that's about it, the buffalo nickel. I never seen nothing. The Baltimore Zoo didn't have a buffalo. But it did have a gorilla that used to like to throw shit at people who were hanging around. a really old like 1880 elephant house and a stinky hippo plate. They all smelled like shit. You know, I'm like, why the hell am I here? What the hell do I care? Giraffes were cool. I like giraffes. Oh, thank you, Susie. We're going to go click. Abu Dhabi. Well, I've been to the birthplace of Buffalo Wings in Buffalo, New York. And I don't know why Buffalo is called Buffalo, because I don't think there were any ever any Buffalo up there. So... Buffalo could survive those winters. Uh, I don't even know how Buffalo got its name. I don't know. I mean, The Salt Lake City Bees, really? All right, we're all out of dots here. I guess we'll have to change up here. Hold on a minute, guys. Should be a full. Yeah, we're all good. I think tonight we're going to let that sit a bit and then reheat that. Really get those flavors to come together tonight. Problem is now people are mad. I have no idea why the name Buffalo New York came to be because there's no Buffalo around there. I guarantee you that. Uh, let's ask Google. That didn't work. The settlement was initially called Lake Erie, then Buffalo Creek. The shoon shortened to Buffalo. Oh, let's see. 
I gotta cut through the bullshit. City lost over half of its population. I don't know. I don't got time to fuck around. Okay, so nobody knows how it got its name as usual. So, okay. Really? Alright. Ask Siri. Yeah, thumbs up or appreciate it. You'll see people stomping people to death. <laughs> yeah, ask Cheryl. Cheryl, how did Buffalo get its name? In the same small trading community, have a neutral nerd, neutral nation near the mouth of Buffalo Creek. Is there ain't no buffalo there? I guarantee freaking to you that. And yet the Buffalo Bills have a buffalo on their helmet. Like, really? Like, how do you figure that? A buffalo steak for wow Joe nice how much how about the puff that you play I don't play much they they cut those things way back you got to go to a local casino Two nights, Mr. Z and I went to local casinos. I was hitting left, right, and center. I was on fire. Mm. Mm. Uh. So it's interesting how Buffalo, New York, even though there's never been a Buffalo, how they got that name. We're not crunching tonight, and my manners are very good, Rupert. I think water buffalo are in Asia and Africa, aren't they? Hmm. Chicken or the egg? The chicken. No one knows. Now I don't think buffalo are extinct anymore, are they? I mean, aren't there like a zillion buffalo now? I grew up, you couldn't even, you couldn't even fart in the direction of a buffalo or you'd be arrested. Same thing with an eagle. Right, if you even looked at an eagle cross-eyed, you'd be under arrest. Uh, call you a water buffalo? I doubt that. Ron's like, we got Big Red down here in Australia. Australia. I don't know, we got some giant birds that live in a tree around. I don't know what the hell they're doing. They're scary as shit. They're all sitting up there like ready to go. I don't know, Elmer. I thought there was like millions of bison again. 
They're ecologically extinct. That sounds like a touchy-feely term. <laughs> I thought Native Americans could uh, could still hunt buffalo. I have no damn idea. Do you know when you hear birds at night, that's not a good sign. So EJ, if I went and hunted a buffalo, I'd be like in bad shape. Ted's Montana Grill started by... Oh, they have Buffalo and Catalina Island, eh? Yeah. So there must be millions of them now. Yeah. If you're allowed to take them for meat, there must be a zillion of the damn things. They must be roaming the Great Plains again. That'd be pretty cool content to go on a buffalo hunt with the Native Americans. Mm. Bison in all 50 states. Wow. What the hell am I missing here? Jan, have you ever seen a bison a buffalo in California? If you have, I'm getting the hell out of this state. Not gonna wait. So you actually saw a buffalo. Did you get close to it? Like a Taiwanese tourist or what? So if I had a permit, I could actually shoot. Oh, the River Cat 7, the bees want it. So if I had a permit, I could actually shoot a buffalo. How about eagles? They're everywhere now. Oh shit, several bison were brought onto Catalina Island for a movie. I know the rest of this story. <laughs> They're like doing the wild thing out there. Don't try it in California. <laughs> On today's core docket, we have the, uh, the shooting of a buffalo. Will the defendant come forward? How do you plead? Guilty as fuck, Your Honor. <laughs> People with pet buffalo. I don't know if I want very lean meat. I like my fat. You gotta have a little bit of fat on that son of a bitch. Right? Peace train, holy roller, not on peace train. E-I-E. -E. Population curve. What? A hundred. There must be millions of the damn things. Six hundred. Currently a hundred. What the hell are we talking about? Damn things on the back of a buffalo nickel. There must be a zillion of them. Old Black Diamond up in uh, New York City. I don't know what beefalo is. Is 
kind of like they take a cow and Certain things are best left to the imagination. I got to try a bison burger. Now, Joe D said he had buffalo for dinner tonight and didn't get arrested. The eagles are everywhere. They're picking up dogs and carrying them off and goats. Friggin' eagles. There's no way eagles are extinct. They're like really bad predators, man. You ever seen their claws? If they hook them into you... They get up in that weave, you're gone. Huh? Sucks. We have a coyote. Yeah, coyotes are always going to be out there. Did they ever come into the city, Nicole? Did ever come into the uh, city? <laughs> Eagles scared the hell out of me. That eagle picks you up by the weave and you're a goner. Yeah, that's nice, Joe. Buffalo burgers in the freezer. It should be good for me. I've seen eagles pick up goats off the side of mountains. Hello, Sapphire Blue. Uh, eagles ain't no joke. If you're unfortunate enough to encounter one of them, they can literally almost pull your eyes together in your head I mean they're just like those these things and they have the element of surprise and if they get on your skull they can just crush the damn thing I don't like goats I don't like buffalo I don't like eagles I don't like chickens I don't like deer I don't like coyotes I don't like raccoons I don't like a lot of cats. You're correct. That's it. 
Baby Golden Eagle, he's beautiful, very frightening, Sapphire. I really don't like animals. I really don't like animals. They have teeth. Even a, even a pig will bust you up. Whatever me when I'm watching you doing anything. <laughs> Shut up, Nicole. God <laughs> damn. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Could you be any more insulting? <laughs> it's like, I don't know how to explain your channel. Laugh my ass off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> it's like when I try to explain your, uh, your, uh, Twitter, right? Yeah, there's cats always walking around here. I think I saw a uh, rat earlier today, too, run across. But with the cats, I don't really have to worry about it. I got two cats over here now. Uh, tiger and socks over there tonight. Uh, yeah, goldfish. I enjoy tropical fish, May. They're it's very peaceful. I like to see things just slowly moving. You know, uh, rapid movement is not good. So when you go, yeah, you get attacked by a wild boar. That thing's going to eat you, man. If you Suppose you knock yourself out on a tree running. You know what's going to happen? You're going to wake up. You're missing fingers, leg. And the whole crew's there just feasting on your sack, right? That's it. Game over. Hey, Nancy. I mean, literally, who needs that? You look at these guys, you watch TikTok, they put these pens in Texas to catch wild boars, and they drop the gates. Man, and these things are smashing into the gates. I mean, these things are badass. Damn, they can radio control, put the gates. Bam, and these things are like running around. Crazy. Yeah, 500 pounds per square inch, Pete Carver. Can you imagine that? Imagine a quarter of a ton just on you. Eagles are no joke. I hope they don't waste them. I mean, I, yeah, I didn't know there were a lot out here. You know, Hawaii has a few, a huge problem on the big island. Yeah. <laughs> like Nicole's like, I don't know how to explain your channel. <laughs> yeah, boars are badass. Uh, they got tusks. And uh, they'll eat anything. They'll eat bounty paper towels. They'll eat a glass table. They'll eat your ass like it's a like it's a goddamn Christmas feast. <sighs> We're trying to understand, Flan. We're trying to make sure we're not in the crosshairs of destruction here. People are talking about getting their picture taken with buffalo and how cute they are you know let me pet it last thing you ever pet that's it <sighs> the retail hawks for the ones I've seen and they were so far from you, you a family of my mind yeah. well I only saw a uh, uh, California vulture get its balls blown off on this electric wire. 
This buffalo are great. I don't know, Nicole. They've been to the Super Bowl four times and got denied and couldn't make it to the big dance last time, so... Hey, Sugar, how you doing? You probably wouldn't like being around lately. Yeah, I don't want to be where you should live, Cheryl. It's a, it's a, it's a nightmare. Yeah, they'll rip your nuts off. <clears throat> I was kicked in the head by a horse. It explained a lot. Cheryl, I will, you couldn't pay me to live where you are. I would pack my shit and be out of there by midnight. Yeah, I've seen raccoons as big as uh, friggin' Volkswagen buses here in Bobby. I've seen it all, Nicole. I've seen shit that defies the imagination here. Fucking uh, raccoons. Like... I don't know what the hell, they're the size of, it's hard for me to get perspective on scale, but they're pretty damn big, and they're meaner than hell, it's like this guy that feeds hot dogs every night to him. You wait. One night that dude that feeds hot dogs to raccoons and has like 50 of them. He's going to go out there and have a fucking heart attack or something and uh, die. No hot dogs. The raccoons don't give a fuck. This is a hot dog too. I don't like being around any animals. Yeah, one night your boy's gonna rock it one night. I mean, you, you think the raccoons are just going to be like, well, feeding time's over, Pop died. They'll be like, you know what, we're going to send Pop out on a blaze of glory. Dig in, put your little bibs on. <laughs> I get the bloody juicy parts, right? I think a raccoon has a conscience. Oh, but they're so cute. Look at the little masks they wear. Ooh. Well, I know what to expect in the ghetto, Susie. I saw a video on TikTok. Damn firefighters trying to help this stupid raccoon that's in a dumpster, okay? It's like, you know? And the guy's like trying to help it and pick it up and the thing's like trying to run up his arm. thing had no sense the guy's trying to help it right I don't know the guy finally ended up grabbing it and throwing it at a dumpster and the thing goes running off into the woods yeah black widows are cool uh. Black Widows, I understand. What the hell happened? The fuck? The computer just went crazy. What the hell happened? Reset, maybe? Dipshit.
I've lost the mouse. Have a little reset. There we go. What the hell happened? <sighs> Raccoons are terrible. No, I've never been bit by one. I'm telling you, Sugar, don't even get me started on Chihuahuas. Pound for pound, the most vicious dogs that God ever put on the face of the earth. A five pound Chihuahua will square off against a 180 pound Mastiff. No problem at all. <clears throat> Hey Dave, how you doing? Wow, Susie. Come through our camp, but it sounded like crypts and blood. <laughs> That's funny, Thunderbird fighting over the pots and pans. Crips and blondes. <laughs> well, German Shepherd, they're very loyal until they lose their mind, and then you'll be ending up on the dinner menu. Ask away, Sapphire Blue. You'll be on the menu. Albino Chihuahua. Chihuahuas are not friendly. Yeah, we call it a Jeff Davis pie. Yep. I have, yep. Yeah. It's also known as a uh, a chest pie. I grew up in the South, where everything was in the Confederacy. Jeff, Jeff Davis pie, blah blah blah. <clears throat> oh, that's nice, sugar. Itchy, itchy, ya, ya, ye. She's like, I'm going to make a raccoon pie. Look up chess pie. Look up Jeff Davis, Jefferson Davis pie. That pie is a staple of the South. <clears throat> But it's just called a different name down there. Oh, delicious. Man, Nicole was funny tonight, wasn't she? She's like, I don't know what to tell people about your channel. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I could eat that much, you know what I mean?
Do 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 do. Why does this thing do lag? Plus 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 plus. Yeah, I made one years ago. Yeah. But all of my baking videos are on private. <coughs> <coughs> No, it's not a sweet potato pie. Uh, sweet p pumpkin pie. Pumpkin pie is glorious, especially when you do a whipped one like I do. It's light. It doesn't have the density. You feel like you're eating a cloud. You feel like you're at a really high class. You're, you're having a really high class dessert when you have one that's more a pumpkin chiffon pie. It's unbelievable. Sweet potato pie is way too dense for me. I'm not a huge fan of pecan pie either because of the density. But a buttermilk pie, mwah. it's aka a chest pie. Apple pie is good. We make them with the fresh apples here, the Gravenstein apples. Yeah, bikini bacon channel, that's it. <coughs> I'll probably do that on Twitch. But the problem with Twitch is they don't save anything, so what's the point? Mm -mm 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 -mm. There's nothing wrong with bikini baking, it's just it, it's it's a time thing right now. Yeah, blueberry pie, lemon is great. Peach pie is wonderful with fresh peaches. Overripe peaches are wonderful. Just use, instead of using a whole cup of sugar, just use half a cup. It's still good. Cherry, I love cherry pie. You need to have sour cherries, Michigan shower, sour cherries. Any kind of chocolate cream pie, coconut cream pie, they're all wonderful. I can make a hell of mean pie crust. <laughs> People make all kinds of pie. Nicole uh, Reese's peanut butter. Use that stevia. Yeah, they're using stevia. They've been using um, Splenda for a while. Custard pie. I love coconut cream, lemon meringue. They'd be my two favorites. Then cherry, blueberry. Unreal. A, a buttermilk pie, yeah, thumbs up, appreciate it. A buttermilk pie, when it's properly done, when it has a little like a creme brulee, a crusted surface on it, can be unbelievable. Yeah, marionberry, boysenberry, blackberry. Well, I I don't really do too much. I like I like shortening. You want a pie that they'll remember? Use shortening. Half the saturated fat of butter. Multiple times crispier. Delicious. Boston cream isn't really a... Boston cream isn't really a pie. It's more like a cake. Yeah, we know your cream pie. <laughs> Better not unload that on me. I'm a, 
<laughs> I ain't no pin cushion. <laughs> Shepherd pie. Sugar, you being from South Carolina, Carolina, North Carolina, you sure as hell have got to heard of a Jeff Davis pie. Jefferson Davis pie. A.K.A. Chess pie. South of the Mason-Dixon line, that was fucking everywhere when I grew up. The ill-fated president of the Confederacy. Uh. <sighs> yeah, don't ever unload on me. cream pie I don't know chocolate cream is delicious and German Shepherd Sam perfect with a head like a grizzly bear as a baby would sit on oh that's sweet Thunderbird that's really Walton's like that's really cute do 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 it was a dead winter of 39 was a cold one on Walton's mountain grandpa was down with the fever Grandma had had a stroke. We were up again. Do, 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 do. Yeah, our Marie calendar shut down. Oh, there you go, sugar. But didn't you feel good? Ah. Wasn't that just like the greatest thing on planet Earth to just treat yourself? I'm going to have half a fucking pie tonight. <laughs> Sugar's like, well, I didn't aim to do that, Rosie, but I commenced to eat, and before I knowed it, half that damn pie. <laughs> yeah, we don't have them out here, Susie. They failed. Good evening, Jr. Start with a piece. Ah, what the hell? I have another piece. Fuck it. Just give me the whole goddamn pie. Willie Bird move location contrasting. New location. But the original Willie Birds on Santa Rosa Avenue, that's pretty much toast. Uh, the lower part of Santa Rosa Avenue is pretty much toast. Dude. Do, 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 night on the peace train. E I -E Walnut raisin. I don't know. <laughs> don't take a slice, take a chunk. <laughs> Willie Bird's was the name of a, a turkey restaurant here, Susie, that featured uh, turkey always and turkey always. And they just, they have a new location. They got out of the shithole that we go to. Uh, you know, I showed you, but this is Bobby's favorite place. Do, do, do. So I guess we'll be having um, the Rowell's tomato red sauce tomorrow night with linguine and homemade bed. Uh, be baking that loaf of bread. Yeah, they moved uptown. Do, do, do. I'm surprised nobody ever made a rice pudding pie. Since you all like raisins and stuff and all that in there. That would firm up real well and set well. Ray O's. Mm -hmm. Are you going to try? Excuse me. Please come to Boston Cream Pie. Yeah, I had that can of sauce for a bit. I got to use it up. You can sell your pussy on the sidewalk. Please come to Boston. She said no. <sighs> Capitola. Yeah, 
Yeah, Sugar, you got to look up a Jeff Davis pie. I like that song. I love it. <laughs> oh, shit. Sugar, you're a nut. <laughs> I don't know. You can sell your artwork on the sidewalk or something. I don't know. I can't. I, you know, wine country, grape is something that's grape and plums, Japanese plums, exceedingly hard to figure out what to do with. Uh, you can't do anything with Japanese plums except to eat them. Bread pudding, eh, I don't know. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Raisin pie, okay. I, I guess I would like that with rice pudding and raisins in there for pie. That would be all right. But damn, man, you can't hold a candle to chocolate cream pie, coconut cream pie, and lemon meringue pie. Let's be real. Okay, you got the big three right there. Now, you got second tier. If you like your fruit pie, you got your cherry, you got your blueberry, you got your apple. Okay. Oh. Uh, I've never tried at Golden State. It's going to be a first for me because they sure as hell charge a lot of money. Hey, Zach, how you doing tonight? They sure as hell charge a lot of money for that sauce. And uh, my friend Jody, she sent uh, some jars out here. So uh, we're going to give it a whirl. You can paddle your pussy on the sidewalk. Yeah, she'll surprise her family if she ever breaks out a pan or a pot in her kitchen. Do do do. Yeah, that's the only way I'll eat rice pudding is with raisins and surprise her family, Cheryl. She'd probably give them a damn heart attack. What are you holding in your hand? A pot. What are you gonna do with that? Are you going to attack us? I'm going to cook you something. What the fuck? <laughs> You've never touched a pot in your life. Uh. Do, 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 do. We're going to call the police. <laughs> a blanket on the ground. <laughs> Oh, shit. <laughs> Please come to Boston. Mm -mm. You can sell your mm on the sidewalk. <laughs> Sugar, you're a very corrupting influence around there. Hey, Nikki. You are a very corrupting influence in my chat. She said, no, I come home to you. Said, rambling boy, why don't you settle down? Denver ain't your kind of town. Yeah, yeah I've had a few beers. I've had uh, one Coors Light and I've got two Michelob Ultra tonight. So, dude, I'm, I'm not wolfing them down. I mean, I used to do eight-hour hangouts, and Missy Jen would get up in the morning. Holy fuck. Did you have guests last night? You are like, no. You drank all this beer? Be like a ten, ten empty beer cans on this. Like, oh, fuck, you know. Yeah, we should make a lasagna in the barbecue pit. Hey, Nikki. We should make one. Ooh, I'm I'm eager to try this sauce. Everybody's always got their finger up my butt about uh, this um, rouse, so let's give it a whirl, right? I mean, I don't I don't know what the hell to expect, but I do know what you guys got to expect tomorrow. My first vintage audio video in a long time. Vintage audio listening experience. 
I hope you will check it out. At least come by, give a thumbs up, and say, Hey, Rosie, enjoyed the vid. Broken heel. <coughs> Row is really good. Well, it better be. For the price they're charging, this shit better tap dance across my tongue. That's all I can say. This stuff better tap dance across my tongue. I'll take advantage of my virtue. That's it. Of course they do, sugar. As handsome as you are. Okay, Cheryl. We'll be able to tell. <coughs> so, in the meantime, it's been over four and a half hours. I'm going to head and close it at 9.53. I gotta clean the bathroom tomorrow. And I gotta bleach all the towels. Because the princess from SoCal is coming tomorrow. So, first and foremost, to my wonderful moderators, thank you for everything that you do. You guys are the absolute creme de la creme. Please be with me. Um, I'd like everybody engaged in the uh, videos and stuff coming up with Diane. Uh, it's going to be a lot of content coming up. We're going to be doing a lot of different stuff. Be on the road. Good night, John. Good night, Janet. Good to see you. Uh, I'm going to be picking her up tomorrow night. We're going to try this sauce and see what it's like. And we'll go shopping on, uh, I guess, Memorial Day. Try. To, I'm not going to be jumping around Memorial Day. It's a very somber day. So, uh, you know, do a respectable thing in the morning, and then we'll take it from there. So, in the meantime, you guys... Thank you, thank you, thank you for being here. Thumbs up, I really appreciate it. Thank you, Joey D. Always an honor to see you in the chat. And thank you for weighing in tonight. I appreciate that. Um, always the voice of uh, reason and things. Good to see you, Joe. Stay well. Peace out, everybody. Thanks so much. Please come to Boston.